Hello. Oh, my screen is... Oh, there we go. The game's up. The game's up. We are here. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are in the uh, cozy, chill, long-term street world. Uh, so we're going to be doing so the cabin in this world. So Froggy's having some major internet issues. Um, and we were just talking about it. And I was like, I'd rather just like let all this stuff figure itself out. And then we're going to start fresh together. Um, back on the server, we'll let you know when. Um, so that should be sometime next week. So for now, what we're going to do is we are going to hang out and we are going to build a cozy winter cabin. Oops. Oh, no. Chat, can you give me one second? I don't have my uh, my world map set up. Sorry, I, I will be one quick second. BRBs. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. Sorry if you see a little bit of a black screen before that. It takes OBS a hot second now to uh, to recognize my game channel. We are good though. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna build a cozy cabin today. We are gonna go find a nice snowy peak, which we actually have a ton over here. Um, this was actually the area that I really wanted to build in uh, quite a while back. So, I say we head over to Very Cool Island and then mosey on over to this area. The best part is, you know what? I'm wondering if we should do like a portal link. You know what I mean? I'm wondering if we should link this up so we can easily access the Christmas area too. I feel like, um, I feel like that would be our best bet. Also, I am going to have to get some more rockets for us. But you know what? We've, we've got all day, chat. We've got all day. We're going to build out a really cute little build today. What's happened uh, to the world since the windmill? Oh my gosh. If if you're talking about the windmill in like this stream world. So this is our long-term stream world that we started on YouTube uh, live over a year ago now. There has been a lot of progress made in this world. A lot of progress. So we have our little city area, which we finished uh, this week. That actually looks so good, by the way, chat. We absolutely killed it we still need to decorate the inside of these ones it's gonna look super cool though so this is our little like farm area we have so much work to do in this world and it's never ending and that's why i love it so much so for the agenda today though we are gonna find a place to build a cute little cabin and um we're still gonna you know just be in the be in the spirit of the holidays, but we're going to hold off on all the modded stuff until Froggy's internet comes back and we will refresh that stream sometime next week and we'll we'll be able to like properly enjoy it because it's intended to be a um, a joint stream. So we might as well we might as well wait for our pal to uh, actually continue it. Also, chat, if you are enjoying the stream, don't forget to smash that like button because it really helps out the streams. So, I have some gunpowder somewhere. I need to figure out where I put it because I desperately need rockets. Uh, I should have AFK'd a bit, but you know me. You know me. Oh, there's some. So, we got some paper too. Seven. Seven is not a lot. Let's see. Let's see, 11, okay, there we go. We're getting close. Uh, none in here. None in there. All right, so I also would like to maybe 
bring some obsidian to link up a portal for where we're going to build today. I feel like that might be the right call in case we need to run back and forth. It'll make our lives so much easier if we do that. Um, so we're going to have to worry about that as well. Doug, welcome on in. Happy Friday. I hope you're doing well. Oh, rockets. Oh my gosh. Look, rockets. Woohoo! Yippee! Ah, uh, Kip, you saw them. You saw them, and I appreciate you. I really appreciate you. That'll get us through. That'll get us through. Okay, amazing. I'm going to grab this bed, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try to find a little bit of obsidian, um, because we are definitely going to need to... Just looking for lava. We're definitely going to need to get a portal. There is a ton of lava just over here by our uh, Halloween part of the base. If you say things like smash that like button, there's a trigger phrases. The button lights up. Chat, keep an eye on it if you've not like liked yet. Wait, 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 really? So that's, I heard about that being um being phased into YouTube. How, did you personally see it, Azzy? I have not seen it yet. That is so cool. Uh, chat, if you're enjoying the screen, the stream, please subscribe. Let me know if any of you see that, uh, that really cool feature. They've been adding some wild things to the, um, to YouTube lately. Like, some really cool features. Oh, no, this is moving lava. Oh, here's some. Oh, my gosh. Wolf, welcome on in. You have not missed a thing yet. Do not worry. We are just starting, um... Starting our little task today in uh, our Minecraft survival world. We're going to build out the cabin over here. So we're going to find some snowy peaks. But after I collect some obsidian, because I would like to link up our portal so we can go back and forth from the base um, just to make it a little bit easier. Whoops. Uh oh, Chloe, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see you. Have a great, uh, have a great stream all. Thank you so much. What are we doing today? We are building a cozy winter cabin in the snowy peaks. So we were going to have a holiday event with Froggy, but, um, where she lives, there's some really bad internet issues and she wasn't able to connect. So we are going to put that on pause so we can do it properly. And in the meantime, we're going to just vibe and build out a cozy little cabin today. So this... Uh, this part of the stream has just started, so we have lots and lots of time today. Is it nighttime? Oh my gosh, it is. It is indeed. Glad I didn't miss anything. Heck yeah. Where's Froggy? So she's got some really bad internet issues. So, um, we decided to hold off on our holiday stream, and we'll be continuing with that another day. Christine, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well as well. So nice to see ya. What type of wood will you use? Honestly, I know it's like such an obvious answer, but we're definitely gonna have to go spruce for this one. Definitely. I'm thinking like really classic rustic spruce vibes with maybe some deep slate and dark oak. That explains the earlier stream. Yes, exactly. So we were, um, we had a bunch of stuff planned out and then uh, just server stuff happened, you know? It happens, though. Ooh, mangrove would actually be kind of nice, too. I'm on a mangrove kick lately. Let me tell ya. Let me tell ya. Okay, we got some sprucies here already. Um. I need, like, shulker boxes and stuff, too. Oops. Oh, I already had iron, lol. I just need some flint and steel. Do, 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 where is my flint? Do I have any flint? Probably in the base back at home. Spruce for the win, honestly, always. Is there ever a time where spruce does not come in clutch? Let's be real. Let's be real. What do you think of the new copper blocks? Oh, like in the, uh, the snapshot? I love them. I think they are fantastic looking. What do you all think of them? I honestly like the copper grates and stuff. However, they look a little bit um, expensive to make. That's my one concern is that they look a little bit expensive. Chat, I cannot for the life of me see any flint. 
any flint and steel. No combo. Oh my gosh, I must have- oh, there's some. Okay, we're good, we're good. We are good. We are good. So. I mean, I've got some food. Do I need to... I guess I need to find where I'm gonna build this portal first, and then I need to pop that down, and then get onto the nether roof, and then sort that out. I think that's what uh, that's the vibe. So basically, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take us over to Very Cool Island because that's close to the snowy peaks that I really like. There are also, or wait, it's just gonna take a hot second to load. Oh wait, it's because I'm partially underground. I think. There we go. So there's that one, but there were also like, what's this called? Ancient city. Oh yeah, this one. Cool mountain. Cool mountain. It's in the name. It was really cool. Oh, I don't know. It is pretty far though. Maybe we just go to very cool island and then rendezvous over here. This one's more tundra-y though. Does this one have ice peaks? I think it did. Oh, yeah, right here. I feel like maybe we should go over here and just pop a portal down, you know? Shall we do it? Let's uh, rendezvous over to that cool mountain. Let's make this global and we will go over there. The new breeze mob. So I've seen a couple of clips of the breeze mob. It looks pretty cool. I'm like, I think having more bosses for people to like you know, like, basically conquer and stuff is a cool idea. That's not usually my main focus of Minecraft, personally, but I always like the addition of things like that. Like, even the warden's super cool, right? Fatima, welcome on in. How you doing? I love the Monday streams, but I gotta say, ending a work week with a drift stream is definitely a good vibe. Oh, I appreciate it. I know, there's something about Friday streams that always hit a little bit different, you know? We don't usually do our uh, streams on YouTube on Fridays. We're usually on Twitch, so it's a little bit different today. Um, maybe on, depending on what we're doing with Froggy, I think we're also going to have, obviously that, that's going to be on YouTube, the kickstart of that. So we're going to have to maybe switch some things around next week, but I'll let you all know in the Discord. When you're building in the nether and everything keeps catching on fire, the worst, literally, literally the worst. I do not like that place, I gotta be honest. Gotta be honest. It's too complicated, too much copper type block. So for the new update, I'm just hoping that they make the recipes a little bit more simplistic. I think that gathering copper, like you can gather a lot at once, but it's very expensive. It's in the same way where I still wish that they would kind of alter the recipe of trap doors. I find that you spend so much, like it's expensive to build a trap door in Minecraft. I really wish that it was a little bit, um, cheaper pick one with polar bears oh no oh no man i've been chased by polar bears before in this game and it is not fun it is not fun oh also chat if you are um enjoying the stream please toss down a like if uh if you're enjoying it and if you want to no 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 obligation to of course but if you are it really really helps out the reach of these streams mossy welcome on in how you doing All right, we are about 2,800 blocks away, I would say. We're getting there, we're getting there. Maybe adding a chiseled tool. Yeah, I feel like a chiseled tool or something would make a lot of sense, you know? Polar bears are chill as long as you're not near their baby. Yes, and I learned that lesson one time and I almost got got because of it. I was, I was really panicking and struggling with that one. <laughs> got some cherry. Got another flower forest. Oh my gosh, what is this? My chill survival world? What is this? Very nice, very nice. I have to check my elytra health. It's not doing doing so hot. All right, we're almost there though. We're almost there. So I think what we're gonna have to do is build out the portal um, and then we're gonna have to link it up. I don't think we go in. I think we light it, but do not go in. And then we go over to the roof 
and then we light that one up too. So I'm pretty sure it's like light, don't go in, go back to roof, place it where we need to, and then we, uh, then we're good. Okay, we're almost there. Why did angry polar bears follow the player for ages? Yeah, they don't give up. Literally, I thought like I had lost one. Like I, it chased me for so long and I was like, surely it will have like lost me by now. It never stopped. It almost killed me. Raina, welcome on in. How you doing? Mule, welcome on in as well. I hope you're having a good one. Okay, so this is, look at this area. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't it actually stunning? And look at how much like iron and stuff there is. Isn't this so cool? So I'm kind of thinking like maybe around here could be good. Like right in this nook right here by this waterfall. Then we could also plant some spruce trees behind it so it has the vibe of like this. You know what I mean? Isn't it perfect, right? It's so cute. You open a chest looking for flint and steel and get a polar bear to the face. No, literally though, literally. All right, I'm gonna grab some of this coal. Oh wait, no, this is my silk touch ax. I was like, I need the XP. I'm trying to repair my pickaxe quickly and also my elytra a bit. So I figured gathering a little bit of coal would uh, help me out here. It's not that I need coal, which we can, we can always use, you know? But it'd be nice to have uh, elytra a little bit more repaired while we fly around a bit. That's beautiful. I know, I think so. I think this might be might be the spot. I've, I've had my eye on it for quite a while now. There's also like a little peak right there that we can check out really quickly, but um i think this one is it you know uh where's the coal there's a bunch over here somewhere there let's fly over here Straight up just repairing this pickaxe first. Is it just gonna eternally repair this pickaxe? I hope not. Oh man. Are you using Lunar Client? I am not. I'm using Multi MC. Um, I have heard good things about Lunar Lunar Client though. I have indeed. All right, sorry, cow. It's got to be done. I'm desperate for a little bit of XP. You know what? Even this little grove right here is so cute. Like. What is this? Why is this so magical? You know, we went down into these caves before. This is when we were searching for an ancient city. We went down in here trying to find, uh, what was it? I think it was the trim, the armor trim. Try mining quartz. The problem is we don't have any quartz around us. Put an elytra in the offhand. There we go. Smart. Very smart. Thank you. That's that's what we got to do. I was like, I feel like there's another another solution here. Thank you. Okay, there was a skelly here, but I'm just going to... Hey! All right. Let's just grab this coal and then... Getting some of this will probably help us get to at least a little bit. Coal gives you a lot of XP. Nice, nice. All right, we're getting to like half. That's better. So I'm gonna equip that again. Boom. Get my bed out. I think it's nighttime. I just want to check out that one last mountain, and then we're we're gonna we're gonna choose our spot and start building, and also the portal as well because we're gonna have to go home a couple times. 
Jody, I don't I don't know if I replied to your message about whether or not it's gonna be like a Swiss lodge, but yes, that's kind of the idea that I had. That is kind of the idea that I had. <laughs> Azzy, did I pass Cole like a thousand times? Twice, I'm dead, I'm dead. It's so funny because chat's very delayed as well. So I'm always like, huh? Oh no, these what? The, which which one's better? <gasps> what about right there? Oh chat, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Oh no! Which one do you all like better, Mountain One or Mountain Two? What's the vibe here? What is the vibe, Lisa? Welcome back. Oh, this one's so pretty too. Oh man, I don't know. That's a nice mountain. I think the grove is very special though. Like this one's very beautiful, but there's something special about like that, that grove. You think you prefer mountain one? I think I do too. I think it's like the fact that it's a little bit enclosed makes it just feel extra special, especially with like the running water and stuff. Yeah, they're both great. Yeah, I think the grove is where it's at. Like, do I want to build the grove within here? Or not the grove, the cabin within here? Or do I want to build it up top here? I'm kind of feeling like this spot feels a little bit more magical to me. Uh-oh, powdered snow, powdered snow. I am a freezing. I feel like this spot right here is where I want to go. You know, I think that's the spot chat. There's probably going to be powdered snow that I'm going to have to conquer, but never fear. Drift is here. I like this spot, I think. Or like right here, nestled between the two. To be fair, we could also put like the portal right here in between this mountain pass and just do like a quick little decoration around it. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, uh oh so cold it is so cold i think the portal's gotta go right here in my opinion yeah leather boots we're actually for once we are actually gonna have to get leather boots so that is no problem at all we have tons of leather at home so Let's figure that out. I say we build the portal like right here. And then I, I think what we have to do next is like fly home to get the portal activated, um, activated properly. Let me just make a crafting table real quick because I just have so much just like junk everywhere. This is just, I'm gonna have to place in a chest somewhere too. Why is shoveling snow so slow? Oh my gosh. Jade, how you how you doing? How you doing? So nice to see ya. And I'm doing good, thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a lovely day. Okay, so this powdered snow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a big issue. It is a big issue. We are we are chilling, but not in a good way. Not in a good way, chat. Why did they make this? Mojang, why? Why did you make us powdered snow? <laughs> it is so beautiful, but also such a pain. All right, so. I did uh, wear leather boots for so long when I was building my base here, I kept falling in. Oh yeah, I bet, I bet. It is such a pain in the butt to do this. You know what, I think it's gonna look so good though, but we're gonna have to absolutely, uh, we're absolutely gonna have to use leather boots. Otherwise this ain't happening today, you know? Okay, I'm gonna cover that up with, oh. I'm gonna take some of this dirt and put it over there. I'm gonna chop this tree down quickly. And then this is where we're gonna build our portal. Oops. Okay, perfect. 
Oh, I have three leather right now? Oh. Do I have any cows around here? I know I killed one. I don't know if I saw any more, though. Oh, there's a couple right there. Oh, wait, no, those are pillagers. No! <laughs> I thought those were cows. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna, um... We're gonna build this portal out really quickly, and well, that is so funny. Oh, look, there's some cows there. Oh, no, that is not a cow. Is it three high that I can do? I think so, right? Three or four. I think I did this too high. Doesn't really matter though, the height, as long as you have like... I think you can even do too wide as well, right? Portals are like one of those things where I always forget like the dimensions of them because I just like, I feel like I never build them. Can you destroy powdered snow using a bow and arrow? I don't know, can you? Also, Ari, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Yeah, this, the sound of the snow is very crunchy. I had a 118 world that I got uh, death looped in because I spawned in a patch of deep snow and couldn't dig my way out in time before dying. Oh, that is brutal. That is just cruel. Oh, okay, so you do the three high and three wide. You do a square one. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so I think I light this, leave it, and then we have to go home really quickly, chat. And we just have to, um, we gotta mark our coordinates. So this thing is, I would say, uh, let me just write it out. So I know we are negative three, three, three. Negative four four zero one. Actually, that was on my my map. I didn't even need to F3 it. Okay. So I'm gonna go home really quickly and then we're gonna link it up uh, on the rooftop so we can easily get to and from. And hopefully that'll work. It's divided by eight, I believe, right? I'm pretty sure it's divided by eight. I like how this is pretty much like a direct route home. It is pretty far though, but getting this um, set up will honestly be so helpful for us. So helpful. I'm currently writing some notes. I needed some background commentary. Thanks for being live right now. Oh, I appreciate you popping in. I hope uh, your notes and stuff are going well. Hope they're going well. You can call me Debbie? No worries. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. Done with that Zoom meeting? Back from my lurk. Let's go, Reaper Kitty. I hope the Zoom meeting went well. Also, chat, if you uh, are interested in secondary content of games, me playing games that are other than Minecraft, check out, I think you do exclamation point second channel or just exclamation point second. I do have a second channel, which I will be releasing a video on, I think maybe today after this stream, if I can get it up. If not, it will be tomorrow. Um, I will be playing Dave the Diver. It's actually a super fun game. It's so fun. Um, so I recorded a little bit of that the other day and it'll be up there for all of you to enjoy. Zoom meeting went really well. Let's go. Glad, glad to hear it. Please play slime fun. What is that? I don't think I've heard of it. Honestly, I've been trying to get back into um, more like games recently, like indie games and stuff, and I've been having a blast. So fun. There's just like so many good games out, you know? Man, this is really far. This portal will be everything for us. It will absolutely be everything for us. Do, 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 do. Whee. All right, 
we're almost there. Almost there, chat. What is, oh, I thought that was scaffolding. I was like, why do I have that there? Huh? It wasn't, it was not. I wouldn't be surprised if there was something hanging around like that though. I usually leave weird things around. Turtle Island, look at how many turtles there are. Oh my gosh. Also a lush cave around, okay, okay. This is literally my favorite seed ever. No notes. Slime Fun is a Minecraft add-on about chemistry, engineering, and a little bit of science fiction. I love that. That sounds incredible. So it's kind of just like its own like uh like mod pack thing similar to like better Minecraft or something. What should the first couple things uh, to get started on a new world? I usually start with farmland for sure to get a good food supply. Um, honestly, I've kind of learned the lesson that getting a nice, easy iron farm set up can just be so such a blessing to have. Honestly, I would say iron farm. There's a lot of tutorials out there now that like you can make them relatively easy and like they might not be completely perfect in the way that they function, but like it's still better than having to scavenge for for iron. You know what I mean? So I would definitely recommend that. I think I'm going to have to get a little bit more obsidian hold on a second gang hold on a second also what else for uh starter world food check enchanting always i always get enchanting set up um i thought i heard a zombie can hear like the little squish squish of his toes, you know? Gary, welcome on in. How you doing? Are you using any mods other than uh germs better leaves? I am using Zero's uh world map and I also am using I think that's it. Other than like sodium and stuff. I might have a couple of vanilla tweaks set up in this world, but uh for the most part pretty much just shaders world map and better leaves as you know it's up yeah villagers are a big thing i would say for early game as well i know they're a pain but it's one of those things where it's like i think you'll be thankful when you get them done sooner rather than later because just having access to like all of the enchanted tools is just so necessary all right Almost done. Should take a rest now. I just finished my drawing because it's ruined uh, by my red pen. Oh no. Are you getting blocks to help with the cabin? So I think we're gonna um, draw some, like from some of our inventory at home. That's why I'm building the portal so we can easily uh, kind of like bop to and from. So we won't necessarily have to uh, collect every single thing today, which is nice because we have quite a few resources at our disposal. We'll see you later, Firecube. I uh, hope everything goes well. Awesome surprise to wake up to. Happy Friday. Let's go. Welcome on in, love. It's so nice to see you. Okay, I need to do some quick, quick math. So to get this portal linked up, we've got to go negative 333 divided by 8 that is 41 negative 41 and then we're going to be doing negative 4401 divided by 8 which is negative five, five, zero. So I think that's correct. Pretty sure that's correct. Five, five, zero. I'm gonna do the second number just one more time. Negative four, four, oh, one divided by. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna have to go negative 41.
Wait a second. Okay. We gotta go this way, I think. Also, oh my gosh, I just realized. We should probably walk it with some torches. Wait, am I going the right way? Negative 54, negative 40, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we gotta go like this way to go to negative 550. Add the waypoint on the map. That is so smart. Oh my gosh. Azzy, what's it like to have a brain? Can you please tell me? <laughs> that is actually so smart. What is it like to have a brain that functions? Uh, what is this called? Mountain. Mountain. Ayla, welcome on back. Yes, we are back. We are in our uh, stream world right now. And we are going to be building out the cabin over here because that the, uh, the holiday world, we got to wait for Froggy. We got to wait for Froggy. So we're going to be building out a cabin today in the snowy peaks. And it's going to be super fun. It's a gift and a curse. Honestly, I bet. I bet. That's so true. Oops. I have no more torches and I left all my coal there. It's okay. We're not that far. I'm just gonna place like random blocks. Cri Ow! I was gonna say Christmas! I literally almost died doing that. What the heck? Okay. Right here. So we are at negative 41. And then 550. This theoretically should work. I'm just going to bring this over a little bit more. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. You know what? Let's go two instead. Because you can do two, right? I think you can. Well, let's do like a baby portal. Is this another? Yes, it is. But we're on the rooftop right now. Uh, building up a portal so we can just have it here for quick convenience. Kate, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see you. All right. Lighten it up. And hopefully this works. Let's see. Oh, it worked. Yes. Okay. We're golden. We are golden. Chat. We did it. Okay. GG's. GG's. Woo. All right. So now we have easy access to our... Um, to all of this. So we can bop back and forth. I need to repair my elytra really quickly. So let's just do a little bit of general maintenance before we get started on this, if that's cool with you all. Um, I don't think, actually, I'm going to leave this map marker here for the, the nether. Cause I just like, yeah. I made it my first stream. Uh, we, we love you. Hubby and I have just found you a couple months ago. He plays with me and thinks you're so fun to watch. Oh, Pixie, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That's so kind. Thank you so much for the kind words. Well, I'm so glad you both enjoy my content. And uh, I hope all of your Minecraft uh, adventures are going well. And also, oh my gosh, Pi Pixie! What the? Pixie! Thank you so much for the 20. Thank you so, so much. Can I chat? Chat, you know what to do. You know the drill here. Can I please, please, please get some big, big swags in chat for Pixie? Thank you so much for that 20. I really appreciate it. Super, super kind. Really appreciate it, chat. Throw down those swags. Throw them down. So we are, um, if you just popped into this stream, we are going to be building uh, a cozy, a cozy cabin in the mountainside. 
So that's what we're working on today. We're just going to go repair our elytra and all of that stuff. Uh, just to kind of help us so we don't have to worry about all this stuff. I think we should probably get a shulker box of some materials that would be nice for a cabin. We're probably going to go mostly spruce, I would say. Spruce and dark oak. Maybe a little, little, little bit of deep slate. You know? A little bit of deep slate never hurt anyone. But I think I want to go like very rustic cabin. Like very basic palette. Even like having the roof all one tone, no trim, you know? Or even possibly doing like a stone trim or something. I want it to look very, very rustic. So that's that's the vibe. I discovered your content on TikTok. Someone was pretending to be you. Glad I was able to find the real deal. Oh my God, you found me through there? Okay, that was wild while that was happening. I was getting messages daily. And on my end, there was like not really much I could do to stop it, unfortunately, because the problem is if I were to have like claimed anything, I would have had to provided like all of my information to this person, like my phone number and like my address and stuff. And I was like, okay, I don't think I'm going to mess with this. So literally it was just like a matter of like that getting reported until it finally got taken down. It was brutal. Well, I'm glad you, <laughs> glad you, uh, something good came out of it, I guess, because you found me through it. That's, that was, uh, definitely a very interesting thing that happened. I remember that was a whole thing. It was wild. I think that's like that uh, page is long gone now, though, because they were also doing it to some of my other friends, too. I saw for a while. I saw some of Waxy's vids up there. I saw Froggy's like it was just like relentless. It was pretty much just like all of the homies. All of their videos were uh, were pretty much on that page. It was wild. And all of us were like, what do we even do about it? After my son was born, your videos were very calming and helped him sleep and gave me something to watch. Oh, Hannah, that's so sweet. I love that. That makes me so happy. I'm so glad uh, my my vids are like chill for you all to be able to enjoy them like that. That's really cool. I spent a lot of time in that chat linking this channel. No, no, literally. Big Tiny Duck came in clutch. Big Tiny Duck literally was just like was just on it. And also... <laughs> You were you were just you were just so funny. All right, let's uh let's get out of here. I got to turn my game volume back up for you all. I just didn't want you to hear the sad cries of the Enderman, you know? It's not fun. Where am I? Oh no. It's cuz I didn't set my spawn. That's okay. We're pretty close to home. Just this way. Good idea lighting the ground in the Nether. Uh, it makes it looks like you made a runway to guide you for the landing. No, really? So true. Honestly, it helps. I know, like, I've been on, like, SMPs before where, like, a lot of the entrances to the Enderman farms are just, like, the leaves, but it's just one tiny thin strip. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I'd rather have some Enderman spawn on there and just, like, keep to themselves than me accidentally miss that landing and just fall into the void. Because if you fall into the void, you're done for. Like, you've lost everything. Which mini map mod is this? It's called uh, Zero's World Map and Mini Map. Very, very good mod. Highly recommend it. Uh, it has absolutely become one of my favorite mods that I have. Thanks to Azzy. Azzy, I feel like it fills you with joy when you hear me say that because you, for so long, you were like, you should try this mod. And I was like, I will, I will. And now I can't live without it. It's great when you're high up and see all the lights. Yes. So nice. So, so nice. All right, ignore all of this stuff because we are going to go to bed quickly and then we are going to start working on the cabin. Yours and Froggy's videos are calming. I like to watch them when I'm trying to sleep or doing something. I've been watching you a few months um, and I wish I found you sooner. Oh, Mysterious Wolf, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, so glad. Got tons of cozy content lined up for you all, and I'm so excited. So, so excited for you all to see it. Okay, I'm going to need like a, a little shulker. Where do I even have any right now? Where do I even have any? There's probably a couple over here. 
Ah, here we go. Okay. This mangrove, we don't need it. Uh, I'm going to toss it in our wood chest for this build. This is our creeper castle that we're working on, which is kind of on pause right now throughout the holidays. But this is the current project that we've been working on. It's a creeper, um, creeper farm. And it's been, it's been up here for a long time and we never did anything with it. So we're finally kind of, uh, trying to, trying to make it look kind of cool. We love cozy in this house. Heck yeah. Big fan of cozy. Big fan of cozy. All right. So. Oh, leather boots. Do not let me forget about leather boots. So this shulker box, I'm going to put in like shears, uh, leather we need, the gunpowder. This is going to be kind of like a mix and match box of decorations and stuff that we could use. And then I want to get like an inventory full of woods and stuff like that as well. We have so much like dark oak and stuff. I need I need to get another shulker probably. Yeah, we have like a ton of stuff that we're gonna have to put away. Wee. You're just peeling a sticker off. Okay, listen. Is it an easy peel or is it is it struggling? Because I love peeling stickers off as long as it's just like a sticker that actually peels properly, you know? What's the vibe? What is the vibe? All right, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need like lots of lights. I think I have a bunch of lanterns in my inventory somewhere. We're also gonna need like a ton of wood, maybe some granite. We can collect some of that stuff though while we're there. See, I have so many shulkers and just so much junk in all of them. I say as I look at a totem dead in its eyes and I say, Totem, you're junk. I'm pretty sure that's the last thing a totem is. Am I missing something? Why is the stream 28 hours early? So we were supposed to do a holiday event with Froggy and um, we, she's had really bad, severe internet issues and hasn't been able to connect. So that's why the stream was early. We were gonna be doing some uh, stuff on a modded server together, but then it kind of went haywire. So now we're just vibing in our uh, world and just hanging out. We are just absolutely hanging out. Just trying to get rid of some of this junk. Please don't mind me. Literally, the next task that we're doing after the creeper tower is going to be uh, reorganizing our small storage. We're going to have to like completely build out a new section because it's just like so unmanageable at this point. We are just. We're just hanging on by a thread here. OK, chat. We're hanging on by a thread. Okay, we got tons of iron, which I'm actually gonna use. I don't know why I've cooked mutton. The leather boots, we actually do need those. Boom. So keep those. Let's put all of the wood in here. Just to organize it a little bit. Jane, welcome in. How you doing? Stream is over. Stream has just begun. We are we are working on a big old project today. And we're going to be here for probably quite some time. Quite a while. We got we got lots of stream today. So the the holiday stream with Froggy is on pause cuz there is like a ton of uh connectivity issues on her end. I I think it has something to do with her location. Something got really messed up. We were um when we were testing stuff in the morning, we were like, "What is going on? Like something ain't right here." And she did some server checks on her end and it's just like completely completely like messed up right now. But that's okay. We've got so much time still before we uh before the holidays end, so we 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 will be able to do quite a bit, quite a bit still. Okay. Does anybody see any lanterns in this inventory? I don't. Hi, 
how do you identify and what are your pronouns? I apologize if that's a question you don't want to answer. No, no worries at all. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. No, I appreciate you asking. No worries, no worries. Uh, sea pickles. Let's go. Bookshelves. Just grabbing like a bunch of cute decorative stuff, you know? All the decorations. All the iron. How long have you been building in this world? Uh, fantastic world building you have here. Oh my God, thank you. I really appreciate it. We have been running this world for over a year and a half, I would say now. We're, go we're going on to a year and a half, I, I think. Um, this has been just like such a treat to build this with you all. It's um, We stream on it on every Friday. Well, unless there's a stream canceled and whatnot, but on Fridays at t on Twitch, and sometimes we stream it from YouTube as well. This world did start on YouTube though. Um, we If you go into the VODs tab, you can find like the origins of it. Sorry, my nose is still a little bit stuffed. Chat, I apologize. Okay, got paper for some extra rockets cause we're gonna need them. And then we're pretty much good to go, I think. Maybe like a couple tree saplings just in case. Because we don't really have much dark oak. But other than that, I think we're we're pretty good, chat. Oh, azalea leaves. Definitely got to get some azalea leaves. Oops, wrong one. I think that's pretty much it. So I need some saplings and then we're good. Any plans for a new SMP after the holidays? So not entirely just yet. I think I'm going to um, do a little bit of solo stuff and maybe a little bit of like one off multiplayer things. But then but then after that, I think we'll probably start planning some SMP content for sure. It's definitely not going away on the channel absolutely not but i think after the holidays like the immediate holidays i'm still gonna keep focusing on some like um either multiplayer one-offs and then with a mix of just my regular content definitely definitely will be back though i love doing smp content it's been four months since i watched all of your streams well welcome back hope you're having a good one i've been watching your content for a long time and i just want to say i think you're great i don't know that uh uh, that doesn't really have anything to do with anything, but still, no, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm so happy y'all enjoy my content. Honestly, thank you for being here. I mean, if y'all didn't watch, I, I I wouldn't really necessarily be here in some ways, right? So I, I really appreciate it. Really appreciate everybody's support except this zombie. He is being a little menace. Listen, if you're having trouble with a sticker, you need to warm up the sticker with the cloth. Still waiting for the Witches of Minecraft uh, for as an idea for uh, the gals SMP. Listen, stop crawling around our brains. Stop crawling around our brains. That's I, I remember you suggested that the other day and I was like, oh, Oh, I'm not going to I'm not going to say anything, but that's that's wild. I've been watching your content for the past 15 minutes, and I just want to say I think you need cozy nether adventures. Listen, I that's so funny. I was literally just about to go there. I was just about to go there just for you. Just hold on one one minute and, and you will get the adventures you're hoping for. You will not be disappointed, I swear. Mike Wazowski. All right, where is, ah, oh, it's this way. Mountain, mountain man. Let's drop this flesh. We don't need that. I don't need that. How 
Happy Friday, everyone. Drift, uh, I watched Diversity 3 and about peed my pants laughing. How's your sweat level today? Listen, my, my, uh, my wrists completely dry. Dry as a bone. I am absolutely vibing today. Alicia, it's so nice to see you as always. I hope you're doing well. I'm glad you're enjoying that Diversity series. Me and Blocktown have to get back on it. It's been, uh, I think a couple weeks since we played, but we got to do some, some more filming on it. It's so funny is actually hilarious all right we got our stinky boots uh this is gonna prevent us from falling in the snow because we've already had some issues look i never even got this advancement before that is so funny so the vibe is if uh some of you are just entering the chat now we're building a cozy cabin on the side of this mountain so that's why we linked up this portal because it is like so far away i think it was like five thousand blocks or something but look at this spot Look at this prime spot. If you need uh, ideas, thoughts, etc., I'm uh, on the witchy mods. I'm willing to spill the man on them. Oh, absolutely. If if this ends up ever coming to fruition, I would love some, uh, some suggestions. The thing with mods is there's just so many, you know, so many. Hadn't been to the stream uh, where the mic building was being uh, constructed, so that definitely caught me off guard. <laughs> Sorry, my laugh is still pretty haggard right now because I'm still getting over my cold. But flying into that, I kind of like forget that some people haven't seen that be like being constructed because that was done on Twitch a long time ago. So I can imagine how jarring it is to be like, why is there Mike Wazowski in corduroy pants T posing at me? You want to see more Lethal Company? Absolutely. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. It was so fun. So, so glad you enjoyed it. Is it just me or do you, does anyone else loathe the smell and taste of vinegar? Okay, I'm that, I'm that weird kid where when I was, I'm, when I was a kid, when I, when I was a wee kid, I loved vinegar so much. I would literally like every once in a while, like just, just drink a little. Like, you know, you like go to McDonald's and you get like the vinegar on the side. I would douse my fries in it and then like kind of like drink the rest in the in the package. There's something about it. I really liked it. It's like making my um, it's making my mouth water like because it, it like the acidity, like even thinking about the acidity now, I'm like, oh, my God. Be careful. The IBS ghost cousin might be on this mountain, too. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit terrified. If we hear farts, it's not me. It's not me, chat. I swear. It's the IBS ghost. Apparently, that's like a common thing on mountains is uh, ghosts with IBS. <laughs> you immediately walked into powder snow. No, literally. How did I get so lucky? Okay, that looks kind of sweet, though. I like that. You looked away for one second and you missed Mike Wazowski. It's okay. We'll probably have to fly through him again in a bit you will see him again that will not be the last time we see mike am i from earth originally as far as i'm aware yes but possibly possibly not i know i know i was just that that strange kid you know Salt and vinegar chips, exactly. I love like, like if it's a salt and vinegar chip bag that's like extra vinegary, sign me up. Sign me up, I love it. All right, I feel like this is probably, once these break down a bit, this is gonna be a good spot for, um, for the build. I'm gonna make a new crafting table, cause why not? We have like a junk chest over by the portal, that's fine. And then we can have all of our stuff here. I just always make a ton of chests, cause why not? Okay. This will be like random junk. Netherite boots, I'm I don't know if I should keep them in a chest or on me because I've lost my chest plate before and I'm a little bit nervy about that, you know? Just a little bit nervy. So what we're going to need, you know, I should probably keep it on me because I was thinking, oh, I need to go into the caves. 
I would like to get a little bit more um, andesite, which should be around here somewhere. Andesite and a little bit of gravel. Oh my God, there's a wandering trader here, dude. What are you doing? Literally, why are you here? Uh-oh. Okay. No andesite over here. Okay, what about over here? Ow. Is there really like... You know what, I don't... Feather falling has been so important. I just feel a little bit scared not, not having feather falling. Why is this all stone? What the heck? There is some gravel here, which I could use for sure. Oh gosh. Where the andesite at though, chat? Where is the andesite at? Got around 51 gravel. I don't need too much. I'm just trying to get some texture blocks. Uh, I don't see any. This is absolutely wild to me. Huh. I think still missing that chest plate has to be in the base somewhere. Oh, I think so too. Azzy, you agree? It has to be somewhere. I think when we do an overhaul on our, um, our storage, I really do believe that we're going to find it. It's, it's gotta be somewhere, you know? Does stone, like, only spawn on these peaks? I feel like andesite would, too. Maybe, like, down in here we'll find some. I'm just like, does andesite not spawn at a certain height or something? Nothing here. Okay, there's granite. Oh, wait, no, that's dirt. The heck? What's going on, chat? Oh, there's some, there's some. Nice. Okay, we're gonna grab a little bit of this. Basically just like want this to use as a footprint probably. The one thing I forgot was a stone cutter. That's okay though, we can get some stone and we can make one easily i love the way you play the game you just make cozy houses and enjoy the game oh mines i appreciate it i appreciate it i feel like a lot of us in chat are very much like that we just like like this game for me has been so fun to play because it's just uh, you can do anything you want it is the most open game in the world and to be able to just vibe and build like cozy stuff is like super fun, you know? I would eventually love to try like even hardcore and like modes like that, but if I do, I think it'll still retain its cozy quality. I never want to lose that with this game because that's the reason why I like it so much. I think a lot of us can agree on that. Oh, look, I can walk here. Okay, I think this area is mostly safe from the powdered snow. I can't really tell the difference because this one's like, I know it has like a different texture to it, but this all looks like, oh, powdered snow to me. Like, what's the difference here? Is it because it looks more crunchy in texture? I don't know. Really weird. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put the leather boots back. Okay, so let's start out by building a footprint for this build. I think we are gonna go with I don't bring any stone. Classic. Classic drift. Did I drop some stone over here? Just popping in, but wow, this seat is lovely. Victoria, welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day. And yeah, this uh, we found this mountain a long time ago when we were doing some ancient city uh, ex exploration, and it has been on my mind for a long time. We're finally building a cozy little cabin around here. We'll catch you later, uh, Benito. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good one. Hardcore is for people who like having anxiety about everything 
including just making a cup of tea. <laughs> you know what? To be fair, like I, I really do see like, I guess maybe the value in having a world that could kind of just be taken from you in any second. And I, I think that is like a really cool challenge, but also I'm like, I, I don't know. That's also very stressful at the same time, you know? I think eventually I would love to give it a shot because I think maybe now my skills have maybe gotten to that point where I could live, but I don't know. I do like survival as well. I love to just like hang out, you know? All right, let's build this cabin up. So I'm gonna go with probably, I would love to get like a porch and stuff. So I think maybe like one, two, Actually, no, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I think I want like kind of possibly like an L shape or something. So maybe here we could add a piece. Let me just drop my bed down and go to bed. How long is this live going to be? I think we're going to be live for, um, it's only 11, so we're going to be live for a couple hours, I would say. I'd like to get this cabin pretty much built, if possible. So, I'd say for a little while. You, uh, created a world and in three days you're already tired of it. Honestly, sometimes the seed just, like, isn't it, you know? Maybe it's just, like, you're not vi vibing with the seed. That's happened to me before, where I'm like, I don't really like this. I think that's really normal, though. One, two, three, four, five. I think five is good here. Cyana, welcome on in. How you doing? Okay, I think that should be good. I don't think this is too big by any means. I think something like that would be kind of cute. How far does this one go out? I think three is fine. Okay, so that works. That's our footprint. Let's discard all of this stuff. I think I'm going to go straight into the spruce now. What crazy thing are you going to do for me to like the stream? Watch this. I lit a candle and I'm going to walk away from it. Never leave your candles unattended chat. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought it burnt out. Never leave unattended candles. I love Friday evening streams. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to be real cozy today. Just vibing. Just vibing. What's your favorite holiday? Honestly, I do love the Christmas season, and I love Halloween. All right. Let's get some barrels. Swifty, we'll see you later. I uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. How do you... This is a single-player world that we're playing in. All right. Barrels up. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Yeah, maybe four high. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then maybe this one. Actually, maybe these ones will go two, three, four, five, possibly. Two, three, four, five. 
two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Am I hydrating? You know what? I'm actually not. And thank you for saying that because I did not realize until now. I need to go grab a glass of water really quickly after I finish building up these beams. I might leave these unstripped actually. And in that case, if we do, I think I might change these to composters. It'll match the vibe a little bit better. Um, but we're gonna do that in a hot second. I'm literally thinking like, honestly, I might texture it out later, but I was kind of thinking of literally just doing planks, but having like spruce stairs in between just for like texture instead of doing like um strip spruce and stuff. So we could do like, whoops. All right, let's go on the floor. That'll be a bit easier. Something like that instead. Wolf, we'll see you later. I hope you have a good one. Let's see if this works. Do keep hydrated. Absolutely. Absolutely. I completely forgot, chat. I completely forgot. I feel like something like that could be kind of cute. And let's say we have... So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh-oh. I messed up because this beam's there. I mean, I could just change the beam to be here. Because I want it to be like an even number. Let's do that. Two, three, four. I mean, I could just have like a double beam, you know? So here would be like, I think the entrance. So I would do like... Maybe windows... Oops. Here. door here oh that's kind of cute already okay i like that we could even probably get like two more windows above but we'll worry about that after depending on what we do with the roof actually okay i think this is actually gonna look super cute and then i i would say like leave it mostly spruce and then add details with signs and buttons and stuff like that eat a snack yes wait squid jerky huh what 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 is that i've never ha heard of that in my life never heard of that in my life is that a thing i do like beef jerky though you can make water bottles throwable and it will it say it has no effect i always name them holy water for that reason oh my gosh oh my gosh Yeah, we all gotta get a glass of water now, chat. Shall we take like a quick little water break? I gotta go fill up a water bottle with tons of ice water. How about we take a quick little break? Uh, Cause we've technically been live since like 9 a.m. Even though the timer doesn't say so, but let's all take a quick little break, grab a snack, grab some water, and I will be back very, very soon. All right, BRB.
Hello. I got my water. Splash water bottles are handy in the nether to put out fires. That is so smart. I never thought to do that. Just going to fill in the beam here. Very quickly. There we go. Oops. All right, we'll get this cabin up in no time chat no time at all should probably put some lighting in here before i close it all off too how's that gonna look in terms of like where it's placed oh you know what i think that's gonna be super cute heck yeah me likey okay so let's keep filling this in. Let's get a lantern or two in there, I guess. I hope you all had a good little break. I got my water, so I'm happy. I completely forgot to hydrate today. Only awkward part is this. I might make this like a stripped beam on the inside or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to fix that up. Either that, or honestly, I might condense this by one. You know what? I think I might end up doing that. Bear with me for a second. We are going to fix this up real quick. One, two, three, four, five. And then... I'm just going to have to fix all of this, but it's, it's all good. It's all good. I'll thank myself in the end. All right, perfect. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Yeah, please try to refrain from sending out too many, too many little spams there. Also, uh, Pluto. Wait, no. There was another message too. Oh yeah, Moss. Welcome on in. Sorry, I saw, I saw the other message too. Welcome on in as well. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, Pluto, my weakness in Minecraft is not being able to decorate. Honestly, it took like a lot, a lot of practice. You know what? Sometimes it's just like, it just a lot of practice and then eventually you'll kind of find your style. And I also think that like, I don't know, sometimes at least for me, I'm a little bit too critical of myself and like when I build. And then I'll go back to a build like months later and be like, oh, it really didn't even look that bad. Like, I don't understand why I was being... <laughs> being so critical of it when I'm like, oh, I actually kind of look pretty swag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that makes more sense now. Nice. So one, two, okay. Oh, that's, what is that? What was that noise? Was that like a tree or was it a skeleton? Was that, what was that? Huh? I'm scared. I'm officially scared. I'm alone in the woods and I'm terrified. You know? Okay, there we go. That's better. That is better. Noise, chat. Noise. Two, three, four. Found my style, but was boring. See the thing, yeah, I find that like, I go through phases where I'm like, I find either new tricks or a new type of style. And then I do that, obviously, add that to your toolbox. And then like, then you become like hyper critical of thinking that it's just too boring now and stuff. I think that just means you're like due for kind of like a change in learning something new to add it to your toolkit, you know? I think that's just kind of like, what your mind is telling you doesn't mean that what you're doing is bad i think it just means you're like i'm ready for a change and change oops is good you know
It's gonna be a window there, so I'm gonna leave a little, little spot there for the window. Can't decide whether I despise or enjoy terraforming. It's really relaxing and fun on one hand, but I can't get mund it can get mundane really fast. I feel the same way. I feel the exact same way. You just put that into words for me, honestly. I feel like it's rewarding when you see the bigger picture of it, like when it's all done. But the process of getting there with terraforming can be a bit much, especially when it's a big project. When it's a big project, it becomes very daunting, I think. I kind of feel the same way, though. I'm glad I'm not the only one. The noise was a stray. A what? Uh-huh. Okay, there we go. Wait, what is a stray? Chat, what is it? I'm scared. It was it just a goat? Was it just a goat? Very fancy building technique. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Feel like I just wanted a simple cabin, but like adding some texture to it in terms of like switching it up with uh stairs and stuff, I think that was the way to go. Okay, we're almost done. Then we can toss in the roof. What are we thinking for roof? What are we thinking for roof? Are we thinking like dark oak? I think dark oak for sure, but I'm like, do I want it all one tone or do I want to add like some deep slate to it? You know what I mean? I'm not sure. Thought you would have stopped everything because you stopped the other stream? Nah. Nah, we had a stream scheduled today, so I figured we might as well just keep vibing. Just keep vibing, you know? Cute. You know the skeleton that looks like it's wearing torn up curtains for clothes and has special arrows? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen those. I've only ever seen them in, uh, Better Minecraft, to be honest. Do they actually spawn in areas like this? Or is it like super rare? Are we making a fireplace? Absolutely, we'll have to. All right, we'll see you later, uh, Wolf. How's the cabin going? Pretty good. We've got this pretty much done so far. So we're gonna have to A, change out the barrels to compost bins and B we are gonna have to uh find out what we're gonna do for our trim as well so if anybody what do you all think I was kind of leaning towards like the dark oak obviously for the inside of the roof but I was like do we want to just go classic all the way around or do we want to add like a deep slate trim to it or honestly even maybe stone I don't really use stone anymore. Oh, it's snowing, yay. Looks good so far. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Oops. All right, what are we thinking? Let's see. Dark oak for sure. Kind of leaning towards the deep slate, but I don't know. Oh, there's my shulker box.
Do you play The Sims on your second channel? I do not. I would love to play The Sims again. I feel a little bit intimidated by it because so many people are such good builders and it's very like meticulous. Hello? Oh, the sun's rising, I see. But I would love to give it a shot again, honestly. Maybe we go get some deep slate just to see what it'll look like. Boxy, yo, what's going on, homie? So nice to see ya. I think they are likely to spawn in an icy biome, but more likely ice spikes. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. There's no cave entrance in the area where we're at, so I think we're gonna have to go in here. Except I don't know if I even brought torches. That's okay, because there's tons of coal here. Nice. Let's grab so much coal. I don't know, there's something about a coal vein where like, if I start one, I have to see it through. Like I have to get the entire vein, even if I don't need it. Like, this this is going on forever. Never actually ventured in ice spikes. That's probably why I've never seen a stray. Honestly, same. I don't think I've ever had any reason to really go out there. I've, like, kind of flown around them and flown past them, but I've never actually fully, like, seen what was up there. Okay, Deep Slate. What other games do you play when you're not playing Minecraft? So, I've been playing... I... Okay, I play a lot of Fortnite. I gotta be honest here. I play so much Fortnite uh, with my friends. It is absolutely unreal. It is so fun though. It is one of my favorite games. I'm not even, like this is not a meme. Love it so much. I also play, uh, I've been getting back into a bunch of like indie games and stuff recently. So on my second channel, if you do, I think exclamation point second channel, I've been trying to uh, just play through some games. I'm gonna be releasing a episode of Dave the Diver I really like pretty much any indie games. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm open to anything. It's, it's been a while since I've really sunk my teeth into games and I'm trying to get back into it recently and it's been really fun. Is the chill survival over? It is not over. I actually have an episode that is scheduled uh, to go. It will be back for sure. Um, we just took a slight break from it uh, just because we were doing a lot of like long plays and stuff, but it is coming back for sure. Oh my gosh. It will definitely be back. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get lost in here, aren't I? I'm just gonna run. I just wanna find Deep Slate, man. You love Fortnite? So fun. So fun, honestly. It's... It's honestly such a great pl uh, game to play with my friends as well, especially because so so many of us are just like really busy all the time and like it's not easy for us to get together IRL. So we just kind of play online after work for a bit. It's it's really nice. Something about COVID time, it hit different uh, with the concerts. I wish I got to experience the concerts, honestly. It's so funny. One of our friends who um, she's actually She's actually a school teacher. I think it's so funny that like she vibes with Fortnite. She was like, you guys should play it. And I was like, Fortnite? What? Like you play Fortnite? And she was like, no, it's actually fun. And I was like, okay, I, pff, that's so funny. Ooh, diamonds and over there. And I tried it and I was like, oh no, this is so fun. And now I play it just every day. Just have to share, uh, today's lunch is buffalo chicken dipped pizza with blue cheese. Okay. You can, you can hate me for this. I'm not a huge blue cheese person, but the buffalo chicken pizza, that sounds incredible. I want that. You're eating pizza rolls? Yum. I love pizza rolls. I do not have a microwave, so I don't really often buy that stuff anymore. Okay, I think we're good to get out of here. I kind of remember the way up. It's definitely through here. Yeah, 
There's my torch. Wee! Uh oh. That's me when someone first introduced Fortnite to me. I feel like it's a common reaction. You're like, why would you ever play it? And then you're like, people are playing it because it's fun. Like, I totally regret just being so sassy about it to my friend. I was like, okay, Fortnite. And now I'm like, oh no. Oh no. I played it on stream a couple of times too. Um, it's been a fun time. Me and Big Tiny Duck have, uh, we've done one stream before playing Fortnite together and it was really fun. I'm not a blue cheese person either, but the buffalo chicken sounds awesome. Yeah, exactly. Blue cheese, for some reason, I've tried to get behind it so many times. I just, I just can't. I don't know why. There's just something about it. I'm like, it's just too, like, sharp and earthy tasting at the same time, you know? It's too much. Hold on. I just gotta blow my nose and take a sip of water. All right, I'm back, I'm back. Hospital I work at serves the best food. Yesterday's breakfast was waffles, scrambled eggs, fruit, bacon, saus sausage, quiche, and toast. That sounds amazing. Sounds so good. What the, oh, I just realized I was flying around with my leather boots on, oh my gosh. Daredevil. Daredevil Drifty. All right, stone cutter. That is, oh, I need my iron. Oops. Let's do that. One of your neighbors is the creator of Fortnite? What? Huh? What the? That's wild. Okay. Um. Oops, wrong way. Although I wonder what it. Mm. Now nah, let's let's do simple roof line. Simple roof line. Also, Brent, welcome on in. Hope you're having a good one. We are building a cozy cabin today. Um in a very, very cute snowy peak area. Thank you so much for popping in. I hate cheese openly, but blue cheese hits different. That's so funny if you're a cheese hater, but you like blue cheese, when that's like arguably like the most disliked cheese ever. That's so, that's interesting. I think we're gonna go like really simple. You know what? Actually, no, I'm gonna go simple for this one. Simple triangular roof, you know? Uh, and then along that one, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I really wanted the John Wick skin. I think it's coming back. I'm pretty sure I saw something about how it's coming back. I think it will make its appearance again one day. You're building a, a winter wonderland while watching um while watching this. It's almost done with a skating rink. Oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. If you want to share that in the uh Discord, feel free to hit exclamation point Discord. Uh it's mine and Blockdown's Discord where you can share your builds, ask for build advice, all of that fun stuff. Everybody is super friendly. It's a really great community. It is a vibe. I love cheese, but I hate blue cheese, but I don't hate it when it's frozen. I'm not sure I've ever had frozen blue cheese before. Huh. Also, I just realized, chat, I kind of I kind of messed up. Sorry, my, my nose is so stuffy again. I'm going to have to blow my nose. Apologies. Okay, I'm back. 
I'm back. Moon! Oh my gosh, it's so nice to see ya. Welcome in, how you doing? How are you doing? You love blue cheese, so you're a fellow blue cheese enjoyer. Welcome back, Wolf. So we are, for anybody who just got here, we are building out in the cozy stream world because we had some major issues with the server um, today. So I am building a cozy little cabin on this uh, mountain top, and it's it's looking real cute so far. I think it is looking very cute. You know what? I might just change those compost bins out to just full spruce. I might fully send it. When it's frozen, it has a different taste. I don't... What would you put frozen blue cheese on, though? Okay, I need to find some more deep slate. I That was... That was a trek into that cave. I feel like there's got to be, oh, a shipwreck. Like a better cave entrance than that, you know? How are there so many bad blue cheese opinions? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of like very interesting blue cheese opinions right now. And I never thought we'd have this conversation. It's so funny. I love a good uh, black and blue cheeseburger. See, even, even on burgers, wings, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I'm just such a baby with blue cheese. It's too, it's just too for me. Not in a good way though. Uh-oh, creeper. Please. Please, sir. Please. Oh, he's gunning after me. Ah! Please, I just want deep slate. Oh my gosh. I love how this is like playing well. Like the music is playing while this is happening, the Christmas music. Okay, this is good enough for me. Good enough for me. Oh no, what is this? Oh, this is the ancient city that I was in, lol. That's so funny. Okay, let's mark that. How do you start playing and start YouTube? What would you say was the hardest part? Um, I would say one of the trickiest parts was for YouTube. I don't know. I think I think kind of learning how to speak while playing was a little bit tricky for me, to be honest. Um, like doing commentary while while playing. I found that I stumbled upon my words a lot. I still do, actually. There's times where I definitely have to repeat myself while I'm like playing. It's I think that was like the biggest trick. I've gotten a lot better with it, but it, that that took a lot of practice, to be honest. Okay, there's a lot of zombies down there. I'm just gonna ignore. Frozen blue cheese is like a cheesy popsicle. What are you all talking about? What is going on? In what situation would you eat frozen blue cheese? Chat, please give me a give me a situation here. Use barrels, not compost bins. So I use the compost bins because the stripped oak. Um I switched over to them because the unstripped oak, or not oak, spruce, uh, kind of matched that vibe a little bit better, but I think I'm actually going to totally get rid of them. I don't know. Uh-oh. Whoa! 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 Okay, we're good. We're good. Our taste buds change every two weeks as we get older. So how you feel about blue cheese could change. Listen, it's true. There's a lot of things I hated when I was younger that I enjoy now. I mean, I was a big mushroom hater when I was a kid. And I love it now. Wait, what typo did you make, Moon? What happened? I missed it. Blue cheese is like gorgonzola. Yeah, I gorgonzola, I've, I've had it in like pastas and stuff before and it is good. But sometimes I think it can be a little bit overpowering, in my opinion. I think it just like all depends on how it's cooked. Because if it's like too much, too like front and center, I, I can't get behind it. But if it's just like kind of lightly there, I'm like, oh, what is that? Party at my house, I'm serving blue cheese popsicles. Y'all are invited. I think I have, unfortunately, as much as I'd love to make it, I think I have something to do that day. I'm so sorry. I think I'm, I think I'm busy.
All right, I need some dirt. You started a YouTube channel not too long ago. Nice. I hope it's uh, going well. I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, I need a little bit of dirt. It's going to take from over here. Yeah, I just don't know about a blue cheese popsicle. Listen, listen, how much longer do I think I'll stream today? So I've been live for about how long has it been? Two hours. I think I would I'd like to go for at least another hour and a bit more. I would like to get this like mostly built for sure. What mod packs am I using? I'm using um just complementary shaders and germs better leaves and Zero's world map, sorry. For the uh, mini map and stuff. All right, we are on a roll. A couple weeks ago, I was saying hi to Zion in another server and I tried to type hi up, but I typed hi, hi you instead. And now Shroud says it to everyone. I am living for that. Listen, Big Tiny Duck does not let like any typo or if I say something wrong by accident while I'm talking to her, she doesn't let it slip. It's just like as soon as I say it like the word wrong, I just see it in her eyes that she's about to roast me. And I'm like, oh, God, here we go. It is relentless. Need to find a really good mountain biome in my Cobblemon world because I'm trying to make a castle for my Charizard. The world is called Charizard's Castle after all. I love that. You will definitely find something like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, how's this looking? Perfect, and then I could put like stairs and stuff underneath, I think. I think that's looking real good. So we're gonna fill the rest in with dark oak, I think. I think that'll look really good. Let's toss this in here. I don't know if we're gonna need it again. And then let's start getting the roof in place. So we're gonna need some stairs and also just some like regular old planks as well i think that'll be good oops all right loving the stream heck yeah so glad thank you so much for watching by the way i appreciate it we had some uh just some technical hiccups earlier but now that we are vibing it's all good so i'm so happy you all stuck around for it thank you There we go. If they could add another villager type, what would you want? I like a beekeeper. Oh, that would be so cool. Okay, I don't think they have it yet, but like a Fletcher's different. I was gonna say somebody who works in a log mill, like a villager who works in a log mill because I would like to be able to get like trades for, I don't even know, like trap doors and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think somebody like a log would it be a logsmith. I don't even know what it would be called. I think that would be kind of cool. Fletchers aren't really the same thing. What state do I live? I live in Canada. Uh, I live in Ontario. What should be the first big thing to build in your world? Ooh, that's a good question. Um. I think like villager trading halls can be pretty big and they're like, those are usually a good like center point on somebody's map. If It's like kind of like a big library almost. I think that could be something good. It's pretty cold. Yeah, it's getting pretty cold, eh? I got a, I got a new winter jacket the other day and I'm really happy I did. I've never actually had a proper winter jacket since I was like very young and I finally got a parka 
this year and I am living for it. I tried on my old winter jacket when I got the parka and I was like, how did I live in this for so long? I was so cold. Yeah, like a woodcutter or something as a villager would be pretty cool. All right. I just need a little bit more deep slate for the rooftop. This is what we got so far though. And I think it's starting to look really cute. Rustic little cabin. I'm gonna go back to full beams. Usually I do either compost bins or um, barrels, but I think I might like it actually as this for now. Oh, what is that? That's gotta be one of those like frozen skeletons. What the heck? What is that noise? Oh, he's living. He's alive. He actually is. Look, you guys were right. He's like chilling with this dude. What do you think they're talking about? I think they're both debating blue cheese right now. He's like, I love frozen blue cheese. And this dude is like, what are you talking about? Blue cheese is great with chicken wings. That is definitely what they're talking about. A campfire outside and it's cozy. Yes, definitely, definitely. It's so nice to have a good winter jacket. No, literally. It is so, it is so important. And I've always like kind of like neglected that. And now that like I find it, see the thing is I would basically, because I never had a good winter coat, I would end up just buying a new one like every single year. So, at this point, I was like, I might as well just spend a little bit of extra money to get something that's like a little bit, um, a little bit better, you know? Yeah, the cabin's starting to look really cute. I think we need like a porch or something as well. You've never seen a frosty skelly yet? I don't think I've ever seen one outside of like better Minecraft, if I'm honest. Do you have a pet in your world? Yes, I do. It is uh, a calico cat because IRL, I have a calico cat named Ruth. So we keep, uh, we keep her around. Try to fight him. Oh no. Oh no, I can't. I can't. I'm scared. I'm in my Christmas sweater. And my leather boots. All right, let's, uh... Fill this in really quickly. Apparently some people just shouldn't be allowed to have blue cheese. I feel like that's like the general consensus for today. People are like, I have, I have seen the way that people consume blue cheese and I just cannot. I cannot. Okay, I think that's cute. Can get like uh, some chimneys and stuff and obviously decorate out this roof. Maybe we'll put in like a little dormer or something. Right here. Need to pet the wither skelly? Nah, I, I think I'm good, thanks. I think I'm good. I think I think that's like a hard pass, you know, just just hard pass. Uh, it's really warm here even in the winters but shops still have like winter um winter stuff on sale and people will buy things like uh for fuzzy jackets just for vibes and wear to picnics and things but like are they sweating while they do this like what's the vibe here are they like legit just like doing it for the vibes and just like powering through being super sweaty because if you're wearing like a hefty winter coat when it's like you're not really supposed to like the weather doesn't really permit that that's like too much that is too much I think I do like this with like the different tones. I just need to kind of fix it up with, um, let me see. 
Yeah, I think that's cute. I just, I'm just gonna have to fix it up a little bit with like different uh, texturing and stuff. I need a plank on that though. Sir Mojang was watching Hermitcraft, saw the massive love uh, the community has for Decked Out, went, we can make something like that, and thus trial chambers were made. I wonder if that was, like, legit inspiration, honestly, because, like, I don't know, to say that, like, Decked Out has, I feel like that's had big influence on the community, you know? That's, I never even thought about that, to be honest. I really never considered that. That's very interesting. So you know what? Let's try deep slate. No, that doesn't look right. I might have to bring it down a block because I don't really I don't know if I want it attached to that. Let's see. Is it terrible? You know what? No, it's not. It's not. I'm just being a baby. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I did upside down. Upside down. Then we go boom. And I don't have any more stairs. Every cabin needs a chimney i totally agree with that is it a cozy winter cabin if it doesn't have a chimney you know make it a trap door we could try a trap door too trap door could work the thing is i don't let's see if i do trap door i think i would do actually um spruce that could work I do have a bunch. Let's give that a shot really quickly. You won't accidentally release mobs everywhere. Yeah, I, I find that highly that that seems so believable. So believable. Nah, I like I like the height of this one. I think the height is necessary. Could have worked though, but gonna have to get this as a full block. And here. And here. Okay, that works. That's cute. We're gonna have to have a chimney like nestled right in there, I think. It's starting to come together though. I was kind of curious. I was like, what if we did this? Whoops. What do we feel about like a stripe of like dark oak instead for the upside down stairs? We'll see you later, Brent. I, ho I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for hanging out. What are we feeling about like the stripe, especially on like, let's say right around here might be able to tell better with this part oops i feel like that kind of like breaks it up a little bit more but it's not too overwhelming you know i think that's cute cool all right, I'm just gonna replace all of those out really quickly then. Favorite music? Ooh, that's a good question. I'm open to any type of music, honestly. I know that's like a very boring answer, but I just find that I pretty much just enjoy anything nowadays. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Love a lot of like good classic indie bands. Love me some pop, love me some hip hop, anything really. I think my most listened to category would be probably like 
indie music indie music though you know all right we are almost done with this cabin just had to make a, a few minor adjustments you love rock music yeah rock's great too honestly anything You know what I would love to get for this cabin? Some of those like redstone lights. I think those would look really good um, at the front of the build. We should probably go back home really quickly and make some. I think they would look super cool. There are a few types of music I won't listen to. My mom, uh, my most listened to artist of the year was Bjork. Oh my gosh, I used to listen to Bjork. Haven't in a hot minute though. Is she still producing like new music? Nice. This looks fresh. Looking very fresh, chat. We're kind of like ripping through this build, eh? Do, 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 boom. Yeah, after we're done this, I want to go back and get the light really quickly that I was talking about. The redstone light. Show us your Spotify wrapped. Oh my gosh, Moon, mine is not good anymore. I'm so sad. It's not good anymore because one, I use um for my stream music, a lot of that stuff gets played on Spotify. So, it, and obviously that will like monopolize all the time, all the time like spent listening. And two, I just like don't really listen to my Spotify that much anymore because I, um, mainly just because I'm like, super busy working on videos and then if i'm listening to music i've kind of gone back to just using my uh youtube music i don't know why not even like the music app i just like kind of use like the suggested tab and stuff it's really weird i don't know why i do that but i've always enjoyed using youtube as a way to discover and listen to music i find that like it's it suggests like good stuff it's kind of unfortunate though i don't have any of those like cool analytics though i saw everybody's raps this year and i'm like oh wish i had that goth music and metal nice i used to listen to a lot of a lot more like metal and stuff when i was younger i quite liked that genre if you set up uh spotify i can add it as a command i honestly need to i need to make like um a non-personal one for sure i really should and i need to start using my spotify for like personal use again okay i'm gonna go home quickly to get the stuff oh that's looking super cute so far though look at that we need to get rid of a couple of these trees because they're in the way but astro welcome on in how you doing it's nice to see you hope you're having a good one Whee! We're just heading home real quickly to get a couple of supplies. Secretly trying to make it big as a solo artist, sing us something drift. Listen, yeah, I have a I have a musical career that I'm about to launch. I just don't want to spoil anything for you. YouTube made a rap? I never got it. What? Never use Spotify, have my YouTube playlist and Discord, yep. Y'all, you get it. You get it. I'm the paragon of the newest musical subgenre, cozy core. What would that even entail? I don't know what it would, but I love that. All right. For some of you who said they've never seen Mike Wazowski before, here he is. There's our Mike. Usually I can fly through the corduroy pants. Yes, I can. I'm a pro now. Have to go to your profile. Okay, I have to check that out. I didn't realize that. Amazon has music? I had no idea. My rap was all, um, rap was all pop music, which has not happened to me before. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot more pop lately. 
Is it glowstone light or is it redstone light? I think it's under the redstone. Redstone lamp. So it's glowstone with a bunch of redstone dust. Okay, got it. Should have some over here, maybe. I don't think so. I have to go get some. All right, we're gonna have to go get some, I think. I might have some glowstone. We Glowstone, glowstone, where would you be? You'd be up here. We have tons of redstone though. Magma. I can easily go get some though. It'd be fine. All right. I don't know if I have any. I'm going to go um, get some redstone and then we're going to grab some of that. And that's pretty much it. I just really want that light, you know? All right, let's go. can just pop in and pop out. I think I need silk touch for it. I think so. In your homeland, listen, I I just don't know why you enjoy it here. I just don't know why. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. This should be easy to get. Perfect. Kaiser, welcome on in. Nice to see ya. How you doing? Do, 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 do. Alright, we doing it, we doing it. I need to just, there we go. I'll grab a little bit more just in case so I don't have to come back. Hee hee. Hee hee. Alright, we're good, we're good. Let's go home. I need to like get like a a doormat here that says like home sweet home or something. <laughs> I love that we're all body doubling for poor Wolfie's uh spending the day peeling a sticker. Listen, you gotta do the vinegar solution, I'm just saying. Do I have house tutorials? No, I don't typically do any tutorials. Um, I try to do my best explaining builds when I'm like in my let's plays and stuff. I know it's not the same as a tutorial, but, um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't really tried making them before. I think I'm a little bit scared to do a tutorial if I'm honest, cause I'm not, sometimes I feel like I'm not good at explaining stuff. You built the windmill that we made? Really? The, this one or the, oh, this one, it's just like nothing. The one in this world or the chill survival? That's awesome. Heck yeah. Let's go. I always love seeing um, some of the builds that I've done in other people's worlds. It's so cool. So cool. All right. Time to go back to our winter wonderland. It's already 1241. Look at us go. Also, chat, if you are enjoying the stream and you want to hit that like button, I would definitely appreciate it. It really helps out uh, the streams on YouTube. And just a reminder that if you hit exclamation point second channel, I am going to be getting an extra video up on there probably today or tomorrow morning. The video is all done. I just have to upload it. Uh, so if you're into other types of games, let me not let me know just just go on over there and uh check it out okay we're good so yeah this is looking fire yeah the um holiday stream me and froggy will let you know when we have the uh everything's all good to go 
hopefully i think next week it seems like it's just like a really weird unfortunate unlucky internet problem going on so i think um i think by next week it should be resolved and we will get into that modded world and be able to start making content out of it it happens though i mean there was like the one week that me and Blockdown were doing our better Minecraft video where obviously it required us to be on a server and it just so happened that that week my internet went on the fritz and it was just the most annoying thing in the world. It kept crashing while we were making that video and I was so sad but it happens and you get it sorted. Uh, lever, right? I think it's a lever that we need for this guy. I feel like having just one light right there would be kind of cool or like a row got a dip i should do some work while my boss is here have a fun stream and great weekend no worries shroud thank you so much for hanging out we'll catch you later Oh, they all kind of just like work. Okay, I see. Yes, I like that. Big yes. We can place it. I might place some in between there as well. Chat, this is really coming together. I like it a lot. Oops. All right, let's get some lights in here now. Bow, bow, bow. Uh, I'm gonna go in from the other side, actually. I'm gonna have to sleep too. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, let's get these lit. Redstone uh, lamps don't get enough love in builds. I feel like they suit the cottage core style build so well. Agreed. And you know what? I'm guilty of never using them. Like, I always forget they exist. And then every once in a while, I fly past my builds that have them. And I'm like, oh, what the heck? Like, why didn't I do this before? You know? It's wild. Honestly, I might... I feel like maybe I should pull those ones back a bit. Like, why are they just so pretty? Oops. Oh, no. Silk touch. Oh, no, it didn't... Okay, no, it did work. It did work. I was like, huh? How did that not work? It just fell behind. I want to give this like a little bit more depth and then we'll put like fencing or something in front of it I think yeah that looks way better oh my gosh this is so cool love it I um, I, you know what? I might just full send full send and put it at the front window as well Pretty, but I love sea lanterns and frog lights. Oh, I don't use those enough either. I do have access to frog lights now. I just kind of, it's one of those things where I forget they exist, you know? I would love if Mojang or a mod creator um, would give us a way to make actual stained glass panes. Wait. Like, like decorative, you mean? Like decorative stained glass panes? I have to like cover this up. Now that's a fancy chalet. Um, with the, uh, sorry, I completely like lost my train of thought, Moon. But if you mean stained glass panes, we had some of those in castaways. 
with the chipped mod and it looked so cool it actually looked incredible i need to find like a reference photo or something for you i think it might fit the bill of what you're talking about but it was super awesome i would love to see more stained glass like decorative options in like the base vanilla game though i think that would be really cool oops that's what i was looking for i need some sprucies All right, we're good. You're back and it looks great. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy. I'm I'm glad you all like it. Going to bed now. Just got back from a trip and was quite tired and this was a great way to relax and clean up my room. Oh, nice. Thank you so much, Fatima, for hanging out. Um, I hope you have a good restful sleep and weekend. And I appreciate it. Sammy, welcome on in. How you doing? Bom, 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 bom. It would be easy uh, enough to get a three by three crafting table specifically uh, for glass making and add glass chips as an item. You can make your own designs. That would I feel like that would be kind of similar to like the loom design. You know what I mean? Oh, that would be so cool. That's my thing with stained glass right now is that I find that it's just like very much lacking because sometimes like there's some designs like let's say like the gray stained glass you can't really see it that well when you're like when you put it in a window and i think if it had some designs it would actually look a lot nicer We need some, like, sweet berries and stuff. In between. Actually, let's do this. Something like that. Then we can do, like... Then we can get some wood, whatever you... I'm kind of just like fiddling with the design on the outside right now. This is really coming together though. It's looking really good. We need a porch for sure. Definitely need a porch. I think I'm gonna make that out of all this stuff. Keep it simple. Could I have a basement? If we have time, we can add something like a basement. Can just put a toilet down there, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Oops. I think I'm just going to fill this part with dirt. Well, that would be amazing. I would I uh, think Mojang will worry that too much custom customizable content opens the doors to trolls. Honestly, that is a fair concern. That is a valid concern. I do get why they make the decisions that they make. Also, like sometimes it, there is like that thing where adding too many customizable items can overcomplicate systems and make it like almost unuser friendly. And I do get that as well. I think they're just trying to strike like a very fine balance. But I think it would be at least nice to see something kind of similar to what we have with like chipped where it's kind of just like a tool bench that you use that has like pre-made designs already. All right, I think that's good. And I think I'm gonna go, do I have granite? Yeah. 
I'm going to start putting in a little bit of granite into this build. And I'm going to do that just by adding in small little things like this. And then probably make the chimney out of granite as well. Granite and brick. Gotta have some granite. It, it pairs so nicely with spruce. It is unreal. This is cute. Yeah. We need a lumberjack villager with a woodcutter job block. So we get the same cut rates. Yes, that's what I was saying earlier with like, if we were to get villagers, um, what kind would we choose? I would choose definitely some dude that works with, with wood. Just some guy, you know? Honestly, I, I just, the trap doors, I use so many of them and it is painful how expensive they are to make in this game. It's wild. I think my playlist actually just stopped. Do we run it back? Run it back? You know it. You know it. Frozen Skelly, if we could drag him in there, it'd be kind of funny, but <laughs> it'd probably be so, with, with my luck with moving mobs around, it'd probably be so hard. I think I would lose my life to him for sure. All right, Sammy, we'll see you later. I hope you have a good night and uh, a good weekend as well. Viper, welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see you. All right, we got... Oh, I need to make... You know what? I need to make some more sticks because I need to make a bunch of gates. Yeah, I would love to see... Just please, cheap trap doors. I make so many in this game. Please. I beg. They'd have to rework curtain uh, villager trades because that would probably mean a glass blower, which would trade glass, which uh, librarians currently trade for. That's so true. There's, yeah, once you start changing all this stuff, they'd have to rework so many things. Don't I? Oh, yeah, I do have trap doors. Nice. All right, we'll see you later, Wolf. I hope you have a good one. I gotta change some of that dirt back to snow, actually. Uh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh no. My bad. There we go. Then we'll just attach it with a slab and then we're good. This is already coming together. Have a great weekend, Drift, and everyone. Time to get some sleep uh, for the late night grind tonight. Lisa, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a good one. I hope it all goes well. And we'll, uh, we'll see ya. All right, that's looking good. That is looking good. We are really getting there. Samantha, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. Okay. Slabs. We just need some slabs and then we're good. Good to go. Woohoo. Oh boy. It is all coming together, chat. It is all coming together. I feel like we could maybe get away with changing this to spruce, like this top part. I want to see what it looks like if we do that. Might hate it, but it's worth a try, you know? What's on the menu for dinner tonight, chat? What are y'all what are y'all feeling? I we're making steak bowls. And the steak bowls are gonna have some, uh, I think kind of like a tahini sauce and arugula. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Whoops. I'm very much looking forward to it. It's one of my fave things that we make. That looks way better. It looks more complete now. Cora, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see you. I hope you're having a good one. Can also get some like spruce leaves kind of like throughout the rooftop. 
because that's like a that's a lot of sprucies, you know. So you just kind of do this, this. There we go. I think I was most happy about when they did the villager update and we got the stone cutter. The fact that I couldn't make quartz, diorite, or granite stairs really <laughs> great, great, great. great <laughs> I know exactly what you're trying to say, but for some reason, my brain is not allowing me to say it. <laughs> no, literally. Honestly, I feel like some of that stuff might might come around one day, though. I really do think that they will eventually add it. Especially because it's just like so wanted in the community too. You know what I mean? Mm. Oops. Let's do actually. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, they're too close together. I'll just do the middle one. Very cute, very cute. I think here would probably be, you know what? Let's go glass if I can. I don't know if I have any glass on me though. I have to find some sand. I need some sand. Let's fly around, see how this looks. Had a va vada pub. I don't know if I pronounce that right. I don't think I've ever had that dish before. What's in it? I love Indian food. I really do. It's one of my favorites. It's a little bit expensive over here, so I don't have it too often. But whenever I have the chance, I always uh, grab it. Pepperoni sausage spaghetti. Oh my gosh, sausage spaghetti. So so good. Really love it. Steak bowls and what? This is in arugula. Like uh, if you're from the UK, UK peeps, it's rockets. Arugula. We say we we call it arugula in Canada. I probably pronounce it kind of weird though. And yeah, listen to the mods. The mods are the voice of reason on this channel, and they are here to help you all out. Help you follow the rules. And I appreciate them. And oh my gosh, Pixie! With the 20? What the heck? Pixie, thank you so much again! I really appreciate that. Can I get some big, big swags in chat? Thank you so, so much. Still hanging in here uh, with you. The stream has been so chill. I have a cold too, so we are playing along with you. Just peaceful today. Honestly, I'm so sorry you're not feeling well. Uh, I hope you get over this pesky cold, but I'm, I'm glad I'm here while you're hanging out and enjoying the stream. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we are all just vibing today. Today has been really nice. It's like a fried potato dumpling between buns. That sounds so good. So good. Yeah, we're doing like, it has like a tahini sauce um, on it. And it's just like, so good. So good. All right. And for weekend plans, I don't even know what we're doing this weekend. I forget. I think Big Tiny Duck has a dinner to go to with her friends. And then as for me, I'm just chilling. I am just chilling this weekend. My parents are coming to see us next weekend and we are going to, I don't know, I think we're going to like go shopping and stuff, which is good because I have to get my Christmas shopping done. I don't know if any of you, anybody else has uh, gotten theirs done yet. I have not really started, but to be fair, we're, I just have to really worry about my niece and stuff. That's the, that's the big thing that I need to worry about. I want to get her lots of gifts. Anna, thank you so much for the three. Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Chad, you know what to do. Throw down those big, big swags. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Biggest of swags. Does Big Tiny Duck play Minecraft with you? Honestly, she would like to get back into it. She's not real, like, she gets frustrated by it and I get it because it is a game that's like, pretty it's difficult to get a grasp of when you don't play it all the time but i think if we ever do get a second uh computer like a laptop or something which we really want to do uh she's gonna play with me and we'll just kind of do things like keep inventory on and have like maybe like play in easy mode and stuff because the times that we've played she's enjoyed it but then also like we just fall off of it because she like 
goes into a cave, dies, we have to go get her stuff back. So I think the next time we play together, we're just gonna like keep it really simple, you know? Mm. Yeah. Doop doop doo do doo do doop. Oop boop boo. Can you make just like a stone wall? I forget. No, it's stone brick, which we haven't really used in this build, so I'm gonna avoid. Let's do andesite. I wish we had sound alerts. I know, I need to get them uh, set up. Things are a little bit more complicated for streams uh, on this platform, but I need to look into getting some of that stuff set up for sure. I think sound alerts might exist. I have to double check, I don't know. There are like some compatibility things, but I think that one might be around now. Oops, that's not what we want. Felt on the Minecraft thing being frustrating sometimes? Oh, totally, totally. Can be kind of a, especially if like you don't play it that often, like learning all of this stuff can be very daunting. I remember when I first started playing the game, I was like, what are all of these recipes? What do I have to do? I'm just trying to survive here. Even still, I'm like, huh? There's so many things I still don't know, which that's what I love about the game. But like when I first started playing, I was like, um, huh? I actually kind of like that it cuts off the stair a bit. Makes it a little bit more narrow. That's kind of neat. Green, welcome on in. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. Closest thing we have to the sound alerts are the frog farts. That was the funniest thing. I was like genuinely like so confused. I thought somehow my sound alerts were like hooked up to this and I was like, huh, what is happening? That was so funny. What a good prank. Those are the pranks we love though, right? Just like harmless little pranks. Like that. Can't place anything there. I think I might place another lantern there though. I really wish we could make backpacks, just eight leather like we would a chest and double our inventory. No, I totally agree. The backpack mod that we've been playing with a lot um, in the modded worlds has been like so good. I'm like, I wish this was like an in-game vanilla feature. It's just so, so handy. I find now that like there's so many items in like with every single update, like think about even like the 118 update, you got two different types of drip leaf, you've got glow berries, you've got moss, you've got moss carpet, like 500,000 different items. It's just like you need more space to store stuff. Sorry, I had to blow. Oh my God, blow my nose. But now, now my throat's acting up. God, take a sip of water. Hold on, chat. Oh my gosh, I keep hearing that skeleton too. I understand Big Tiny Duck for sure. My partner hasn't played on our realm since he died on an unknown end island and dropped to Elytra a couple months ago. Exactly. The pain of that. That's painful. Like having that, like dropping that valuable of an item just makes you go, oh no. Oh no. It is definitely pain. I'm so, by the way, I'm so sorry that happened. I understand that frustration. Totally understand it. There's been times where I've also almost lost like really valuable gear in this world, like for good. And it, it makes you want to cry. Let's be honest, the inventory system is the worst in early game before we get ender chest. Yeah, that's exactly it. And a lot of people don't, like a lot of casual players don't really make it to the end, you know? That's the thing. I'm gonna try the barrels back. This looks a little bit too like steep. 
if that makes sense. I'm going to try them one more time. Oops, not like that. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get scaffolding. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to bring them back. It just helps, like, kill some of the height on this one specifically. Oh my gosh! Mouse, thank you so much for the 99! Thank you so, so much! I really, really appreciate that. Chat, you know what to do. You know what to do. Big old swags in chat. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Let's go. All right, we're bringing back these barrels. I keep placing them wrong, though. I'm so bad at placing these. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Katie, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope it's all going well. I rage quit for my current single player world because I lost my diving gear uh, to a creeper in a mineshaft and haven't felt up to swimming across the bay to go back and get it. So I just logged out. Nope, totally fair, especially because there's like an expiry on your items like still being there. That's like the hardest part is that you have like a solid five minutes to figure it out. We've had some crazy rescue missions in this world before, and I don't even know how we've managed to get it back. It's very meticulous too. It, I think now one of the things that you can do is, is it called the echo shard or the compass? We used that once, but I don't know. If you're if you're unlucky enough where you don't know what your, where your stuff is, but you're flying around that chunk and it's still generated, you, you could potentially lose it, you know? Love you, Drifty. Aw, Mouse. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Good chill out. No worries, Astro. No worries. Hope you enjoy the lurk. I put deep slate there. Mouse, thank you so much for the 199. Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Chat, you know what to do. Throw down those big, big, big swags. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, you don't feel up to racing the timer. That's exactly it. Like, I, I almost like respect the timer in a way because it's like a challenge, but then at the same time, it's like almost too unforgiving. I'm like, is that something that they should consider getting rid of? You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm unsure about the whole timer situation because I've had it happen to me where it like I almost lost everything and I wanted to cry. But at the same time, I don't know. Is that a cool feature to have? Is that what you sign up for when you play this game? Not sure. I think at least at most, I don't know if you can now. It should at least be like something you can like disable in the comments, I think. I once lost all my diamond gear to a friend's sea lantern farm. I got accidentally portaled into the farm. Made me not made me stop playing for a month. No, I feel that. I feel that. It's just one of those things where it's like an honest mistake, but you're like, I just can't. I can't play this for a bit. It's kind of like when I think like that's happened to me before with like other games like Fallout where those games were notorious where if you didn't save every 10 seconds and you died or the game crashed, which was very often, you'd lose all your progress. And I think that's happened to me before where I forgot to save. I got through a really difficult part. My game crashed and I was like, you know what? I'll see you in six months. I'm not playing this anymore. I am not playing this anymore. How's that looking? Oh, amazing. Amazing, except I might pull, hold on, bear with me. These might get pulled down by one. Oh no. Keeping dropped items for a long time would, um, it would wreck the entity limits. So wait, would it cause like lag problems or something? 
But I guess you're right because like it's not even necessarily like a dropped inventory. It's like the same thing with like if you drop a chest. That's a lot of items. Like what if you accidentally blew up like 500 chests? That could be like too much. I wonder if dark oak signs would be better. I guess I could see how that would actually be like a logistical problem then. Oops, not that one. That's kind of cute. Literally your most recent run through of Fallout 3, you get it, you get it. You you literally have to save every 10 seconds and even then, you know what? You're gonna forget one time and the one time you forget the game is gonna crash and absolutely ruin your life. Yo, this is looking really cute. I like it. I really like it. Keep inventory rules shouldn't be counted as a cheat. Like you should still be able to get achievements. Yeah, I don't understand why that's, that's, um, that's counted as a cheat. I don't understand why. I feel like that's just like a game game mode in and of itself. You know what I mean? I feel like there's been a lot of arguments about that in the Minecraft community, but my opinion is like, I don't know. The game is like whatever you want it to be. So kind of just like allowing people to like have an easier time with it. I just don't think that's a cheat. I'm very much still like in the camp though of like, oh, even peaceful mode. I'm I'm a big, big fan of peaceful mode. I mean, I played a lot of my long plays in peaceful. It just like helped with the type of gameplay because I just didn't feel it was necessary to have like mobs to battle for something that was supp like supposed to be relaxing. So I'm very much in the camp of like, I don't know. Like I said, the game's whatever you want it to be, right? No! That's not good. That is not good. Okay, I'm gonna have to do like... Uh, ooh, what if we did like gates? I don't really often do that. Yeah, I like that. This is coming together, honestly. This is a cute cabin. I don't know, those stick out too, too far, I think. If you blow up 500 chests, the leg would DC you before you realize what the hell just happened. No, so true. I th I guess that it all makes sense now why keep inventory does not exist. <laughs> Imagine how terrible it would be with the farms. There's a gravestone mod which keep which strikes a balance, but I feel that the beam, uh, the grave, uh, gives feels too cheaty. Yeah, the gravestone mod. I used that in Better Minecraft, and I really liked it. I didn't, I didn't have a beam on mine though. I wonder if it was like disabled in better Minecraft. Left for Dead in the second one and Minecraft in Saints Row. Oh my gosh, Left for Dead. I have not played that in forever. Yo, this is looking fire. Look at that. It needs, it, you know what it does need though? It legit needs fire. It needs a chimney. Sorry, chat. I'm gonna just blow my nose really quickly. All right, we're good. I like your shaders. Thank you. They're complimentary shaders. I've just uh, tweaked them out a bit though. Not, um, it's not good to penalize people for playing a game about doing everything how you want for actually playing how they want. Yeah, that, that's what I agree with. I just feel as though those options shouldn't hinder you from getting achievements. And like, it shouldn't be like, feel like this weird like thing if you decide to play in like peaceful or like with inventory on and stuff. It should just be like more normalized, I would say, than it is now. I think it has become more normalized. 
in a sense, like within the community. Like there are still people who are always gonna have their opinions about it, but I think for the most part, most people are like, bro, I just wanna play this game, you know, and enjoy it and just chill. There's a big old cozy community, you know? I think a lot of people have this idea that Minecraft's supposed to be a grueling process of losing your stuff and starting again, but where's the fun and frustration? Exactly, like I can see how like, sure, if that's your play style, and like you don't want that taken away totally like valid you know what i mean but like i just feel like there's an other side to minecraft that a lot of people don't really consider and it is kind of like the more cozy side where people just want to log on build and not have to spend like 500 hours getting their stuff back like if today right now i lost all of my netherite gear to be honest for me i would obviously be sad about it don't get me wrong, chat. I would be very sad about it, but I'm like, okay, well, next stream, I can focus on getting that back and delay some projects. But like, that's because I'm lucky and get to do it all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I I don't know if I was a casual player of Minecraft and I lost all my gear, I would just like be, I don't know, I'd be so upset because I'd be like, when am I going to find the time to do this? Like, I was just in the middle of a project and just like the logistics of it, you know? I don't know. I have to head out for uh, today. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Everyone behave yourselves. Moon, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So nice to see ya. And we'll, uh, we'll catch you soon. All right. Let's do granite here. Just gonna make it look like a little bit more chipped. A little chipped and broken, you know? There we go. Cute. Because we did a big old, big old chimney. I'm so picky about placement. I think this one. Yeah. Oops. No. There we go. Done. Like the inventory loss for difficulty level, but sometimes my anxiety says now nah, we're going to go with keep inventory today. I think uh, playing either way is the right way for the person. Exactly. I think it's all about like what somebody's play style is for sure. I have a couple servers in mind. Um, in mind, I'm the OP on and it defaults inventory on, which is def is cheaty, but it means I can focus on fun aspects of the game and not have have to worry about it. Exactly. Exactly. That's how I feel, too. I think I'm running a server with some of my um, uh, homies, like IRL non YouTube friends who play Minecraft casually. And I think we left it keep inventory on for them because it's like they only play after work maybe a couple times a week and it just helps so much it just like has eased the process for all of us and we're all just like kind of vibing on the server whenever we can i don't know it's just a fun time all right Done. I would say the exterior is pretty much done. I like it a lot. I think it's really cute, actually. It just needs like a tiny pathway. I need to bring back some of this dirt. You definitely have made these streams fun and no Minecraft creator has made it this interesting and non-repetitive. It's something new. It's refreshing. Oh, Mar, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm so happy you're enjoying the stream. Thank you all for just vibing with me while we, we build. Like, honestly, like, I appreciate it so, so much. You have no idea. 
really appreciate everybody's just support and kindness and just for just for hanging i feel like we just have really fun chats all the time oops can't replace that which kind of stinks because of the trap doors but like do i have coarse dirt i probably have gravel i did grab some gravel where are you at there it is it's always a group of people who think everything should be dark souls game and people don't who don't exclusively enjoy misery are gamers no that's actually like so true though so true not every game has to punish you like don't worry about it it's not that deep you know that's my opinion too where it's just like it's just you can play for fun too i promise i promise it won't take away from anything concept of cheating in a sandbox game is silly by definition it's a sandbox no that's so true if it's sandbox then you're right there's no fixed definition of what it is so so true have you seen the corpse mod it makes like an arc where your body stays what no i have not seen that i saw one where like it is like um a graveyard mod similar to that but your body's just like laying flat on the floor and then you like pick you pick all your stuff up and it disappears Oh, that's looking so fresh. I love it. We just need a, a little bit of uh, leaf stuff going on, on up here, you know? Just a couple leaves, just sprinkled. Something like that. Oh, no! Saved it. It makes a skeleton if you leave it for too long. That is so comical. Some of these people who make these mods just have such a funny sense of humor. I don't even have a door to this thing. Bruh. Bruh moment. All right. Let's fill her in. Oh, look at the snow outside. Okay, wait, we gotta fly. We gotta fly and look at it. Oh, it's rain over here. Oh, look at that. Cozy. Oh, cozy, lonesome cabin. Oh, that is so cozy. Let's F for it. Oh, that's a vibe, chat. That is a vibe. Look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice. I screenshotted that. Gonna have to take a couple screenies after. I really like this build. Very, very cool. A lonesome cabin. Just gonna fill this in real quick. Whoops. That doesn't really matter because I'm gonna cover this up anyway. Honestly, this might just be like a little fake out area. Oops. Come on. Can I reach that? Really? There we go. I was like, I must be able to. Come on. Okay, perfect. So, I'm gonna have to block that off too. We do need a ceiling for this thing. Hold on a second. Let me just message my mom back. Oops. Uh...
I wish we could make bronze armor with copper. Don't even get me started on that. Don't even get me started, chat. I would love the copper, copper armor to come back, to come back, to actually be fully realized. That is like a meme on my channel at this point, me thinking that it actually existed. I would love for it to for real exist. I'd live there even with the shredded curtain skellies. <laughs> Me too. You know what? It's fine. They're just, they're not bothering us. They're just a little, little rowdy, you know? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, why is that so funny? What's the playlist? Okay, let me link it to you. It is, um, Holiday Lo-Fi Beats from Epidemic Sound. It's actually really good. I like it. The music's very nice. That's some serious cozy winter vacation. I'm uh, out of pocket. Don't call me vibes. Also my favorite. No, for real. You're so right. This is yeah, this is very much like I am on a on like a retreat right now. Please just leave me alone. I think we're all kind of here for that, though, right? It looks super great. Thank you, Cloud. I appreciate it. Glad you enjoy the build. OK, I think what I'm going to do, let's get some of this. I want to put it in a fireplace. Maybe what we could do is actually kind of tear out some of this and make it into the fireplace. Let me redo it. Otherwise, it is kind of a waste of space. So we do have to be mindful of that. Right there. I'm really bad at fireplaces. I don't know what it is. I've never been good at building them. I think I just overthink them too much. I think something like that is fine. And then we can kind of just like do that. Back after lunch, the build looks great. Oh, thank you, thank you. Also, how was your lunch? I shall wish for copper armor and tools for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Send send me all of the all of the vibes that it'll happen one day. I still can't believe I thought that was a thing. It was so funny. I was so sure. I was like, yeah, guys, so in the 118 update, we're gonna be getting um copper. And it's gonna be so cool. I'm so excited for it. I don't know why I thought that was going to be a thing. Just drift things. Just drift things. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, look at that. So pretty. I'm really vibing with this. Oh my god. That was leaf spam. You thought because it makes sense. It really does. I don't know. I feel like I could have I could have envisioned some copper tools and stuff coming into play. Maybe being would it be slightly more durable or less durable than iron? I'm not sure. But I totally could have seen that being a thing, you know? Oh my gosh, toots! Toots, thank you so much for the 10. Oh my gosh. Chat, you know what to do. You know what to do. Throw down all those big, big swags for Toots. Thank you so much. It's so kind. So, so kind. Well, 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 if it isn't the great one. The wonderful drift. Chilling with the wonderful chat. Love you all. It's been a long week, but now I get to drift into the weekend with you all. Oh, Toots, that's so, so kind. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope, uh, hope you've had a good week. Hope it hasn't been too busy for you or anything. Uh, it's so great to see you, though. So, so great to see you. You know what? You know what? We are building out um a cozy cabin today, Toots. And it has been a lovely, lovely time. Our uh, stream... 
our stream with froggy had to get canceled because of just such bad internet issues so we were like why don't we just build a cozy little cabin today and just vibe out and it's been super super chill it's been really fun let's grab this boom 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 oh yeah now we are we're cooking we are cooking i'm gonna have to move this though i'm gonna put a light in there just in case i don't think anything can spawn but i'm always paranoid of that been manic oh i bet i bet hope you've been doing well despite all of that though for sure this can be like a little kitchen area i think that would be really cute and then this could be like i close this off maybe Let's try like beams. We are gonna give it a shot because I would like to put my bed in here, I think. That. Set spawn just in case. How did I completely forget that I was watching this stream? You lulled into uh, an infinite drift. You must have. You must have. All right. Let's try maybe like a little wall here. Oops. Ooh, okay, that was a mistake, but I'm like, can I somehow do... I'm not really good at these. But I'm like, what if we try like an angled wall somehow? Is this possible? I think it is. I think we can do this. That's kind of swag. I think it would just have to be like one here. Or more trap doors. I really like that though. I've never thought to do that to be honest, but I'm, I'm kind of vibing with it, you know? No, I think it, in, in order for it to attach properly, it's gotta be the slab. You've now been live for three hours on this stream, at least. You need to get a drink and stretch and stuff. Okay, absolutely. Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna take a quick little break. Are we vibing with this angled door, though? I kind of am. It's weird. Before I take a break, let me know if you're vibing with that. It's weirdly cozy, I think, and also it gives us more room in here. All right, yeah, time, time to stretch your legs and stuff. I'm gonna go for a quick little break. I will be back in just a minute. Stretch your legs, grab a snack, all of that stuff, and BRBs. All right, got some sippies of water and we are ready to roll. We are pretty much almost done with this build too, which is wild. 
I feel like we threw this up together very quickly, but like in a good way. Yeah, smash that like button on the stream if you're enjoying it. It really helps out the stream. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you everybody again for being here. I am just, I'm just vibing today. It's so fun. I don't know. I love, I love doing like holiday builds and stuff. I always, it's like a nice treat. Get some more chests. And then what we can do is we can build like a little cubby across here. Something like that. And then Yup. Yup. Very nice. There we go. Okay, we got a little... Little storage cubby. And then we got a little bedside right here, which we're gonna need some signs for. Wish someone would tell me what IDK stands for. Every time I ask people <laughs> say, I don't know. <laughs> First I was like, I was gonna say Ian, it means I don't know, don't you know? But then I, I clued in, I clued into the, that was a good one. <laughs> I was about to be like, it means I don't know, Ian. <laughs> I am the one who got got with that one, clearly. Do we love, do we do dad jokes? Do we like dad jokes here? Are you kidding me? We love a good dad joke here. We are dad joke connoisseurs here. There are some professional jokesters in this chat. I think it's like kind of like a sport by now. It feels like a sport anyway, in my personal opinion. Nice. Nice. We see some like carpet in there and that room's done. Mm. This could be like, mm. could have another variation of a cubby. I feel like that makes sense. Or you know what? No, no, no. We need, we need since this is a cozy get out, getaway, we need some like dining. You know, that doesn't work, but we're going to ignore that. The fact that that thing doesn't open, it's aesthetic, okay? It's aesthetic. No, you know what? This is a cozy fire. We're putting a little couch there. We are putting a little, just a little couch there. There we go. That's too close. We need like space. We need breathing room. Otherwise you're just like sitting next to the fire being like, yeah, that's fine. I could breathe. I could totally breathe, dude. Cute. Okay, nice. What goes behind this though? <gasps> I know what goes behind this. A study. Isn't it obvious? Yeah, we need a little rug for sure, eh? Do you think Mojang will ever make actual furniture we can sit on? I think it's possible. I think like the sit mod kind of shows that like, one, there's a desire for something like that and two, that it's totally possible. I love the sit mod. I think that one's one of like my favorite ones to have. Okay, we need just like a couple more books. I think I'm gonna have to go home quickly and get some stuff. 
We need the sit mod from Castaways. I was thinking about it. Oh no. Hold on a second. Oh, we're back. We're back. We're back. Hello? Okay. Refresh, refresh. We're good. I'm cursed. I have I have internet problems today too. First froggy, now me. What the heck? That was so weird. Oh, I th I panicked for a second. It just said like no data. I was like, "What? What do you mean no data?" So scary. I'm glad I'm glad it's fine though. We're good. We're good. We are vibing. Lo-fi, welcome on in. How you doing? That was really scary. Just completely blipped for a moment. Yeah, today is just a chaotic Friday. That's it. That's exactly it. It's just Friday being Friday, you know? It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Hey. Oops. It's cutting off a bit. Are we good? Am I stuttering at all or anything? I was gonna say give it a minute. It's it looks like it's kind of fluctuating between speeds right now. I think it might be having a little little bit of a time. What's on the build menu today? We are oh my gosh, I was trying to show you, it didn't work. We are building a cozy winter cabin. I when we uh get back to it, I'll show you what we've been doing. We're almost done though. That joke flew right over my head, toots. Right over my head. Rebe Rebecca blocked the buy icon. We didn't know we needed. Absolutely. What a what? First of all, what an incredible s song. But also, she's she's just awesome. Okay, we need some bookshelves. I think I can get some from our villagers, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello. Oh, come on, that's all you're gonna give me? Come on, dude. These villagers, man. Let's go trade some iron so we can get some emeralds. How we doing with stream health chat? Are we good? Are we vibing? Okay, I think that's good. Healthy? Nice. They reduce the speed limit uh, to 20 in Wales. So the, uh, the song Driving Home for Christmas is now Driving Home from Easter. That is so funny. Driving Home for Easter, sorry. Honestly, okay, fine. I'll take the four I can get. That's really all I needed left. That was left of it. Okay, I just need a couple. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of rockets, bruh. I need to shear some sheep. Oh wait, no, I don't. I have wool. I have a wool farm. What am I doing? Manual shear shearing of sheep? No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna take that. Oh, I'm I'm locked in. All right, I think I can fly all the way there, pretty much. I've got seven rockets left. I think I can do it. Leggy again, on and off. Okay. Okay. Chat. I'm sorry if it's uh freaking out we might have to do a quick little end i'm gonna try to get this done as quickly as possible hopefully the stream will be okay something's happening though i can see it bouncing around usually it's at like consistency at like 5,000 kilo whatever but i can see it like dancing around on my obs so we might be having a couple issues. 
We'll quickly finish this off. Oh, I forgot my, um, I was gonna do different dyed wools for the bedroom. Dang it. There's no problem for you after the first refresh. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh my God, this looks so cute. I love it. Too much. I think that's good. Then what I can do is close it off. I will put the candles back. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Cute. Me likey. Just get some white carpet in here. Honestly, I think like any type of carpet will help. Especially by the couch. And then here, what we're gonna do is get some candles. And then maybe some like ooh, fire up top to stoke the flames. And then we'll light these guys up real quick. And then above that, we can make some paintings. Need some more sticks. Feet, feet is all weird now. Okay, I think it's gonna start bouncing around a little bit. Here's what we'll do. We'll just, um, we will just ride this out. I have a couple more things to place down and then we'll, we'll dip for the day. We're pretty much done though. So let's, I will just, uh, keep going for a little bit and then, uh, we'll, we'll head out. We're pretty much done though. So thankfully we're not, we're not gonna be missing too much. You're cut off? Oh no. Try it here, I'll just tell you. Is your internet execulink? No, but also um, it could be because Ontario's internet is all routed through um, like different providers are run through like a cup, only a couple of providers around here. So it actually very well could be like one or two, like one provider having issues. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Oops. There could very well be an internet issue right now. I would not be surprised. Also wild if Froggy also is having internet issues today. Like, what the heck are the chances? Because they're having issues. I would, yeah, okay. It might be, it might be my uh, internet provider chat. Definitely then. There we go. Gonna do the same thing with the trap doors here. Up and down now, okay. Seems okay for now, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, we get, sometimes, every once in a while, we get some really bad um, shortages in our area. It's brutal. All right, I think for the last one, all we really need to do, honestly, is something very similar where I'm gonna do barrels. Thanks for uh, sticking through it with me, chat, though. Sorry if it's uh, all up and down. Just getting through the last bit of the build, so we should be okay, but I appreciate y'all.
I need some more lanterns. Oh no, I need to go to bed. This cabin looks like a place I'd love to hang out in. Honestly, why is it so cozy? Why is it so cozy? I don't... I feel like this is one of my favorite cabins I've ever built. And I've built a lot. So I'm like... I think this this one's it, you know? This is the one. This is the one that's that's really, really hitting. I just need some... Do I have brick? Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I do. Like the tip, different textures? Thank you, thank you. I think we did a good job texturing it for sure. All right. Final few pieces. Going in. Boom. Boom. Maybe a little, like, flower pot moment. I was gonna do, like, a brewing stand somewhere, but... I don't know if it really needs it. Kinda like it the way it is. It's kinda cute, you know? Oh! That's a vibe! Okay! I think that's it for me. I think that's good. All right, shall we do a quick little fly around? This one, this is dope. I, chat, I think we really nailed it. I think we really nailed it with this one. The lonely cabin. All right, let's, uh, let's do a little free cam around as well. That's looking so cute though. I love it. So we got our entrance. Well, the front of the cabin. There you go. That is super cute. I love that. All textured and detailed nicely. We got like a cozy uh, chimney at the top. I really like the lights. I think that's what that's what does it for me. I need to utilize those a bit more, honestly. That's really nice though. So then when you walk in, this has been super fun to build chat. Super, super fun. I love this interior, actually. I think this this one, we knocked out of the park with this one. It's the fireplace. It's the cozy fireplace with a place to sit and like some books behind it. I just, I kind of love that, you know? I would like an extra light somewhere, maybe in this corner. Maybe even there, honestly. It's just so cute and so cozy, though. This really, this fits the vibe of what we were going for, I think. Look at that. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. We can't leave that. We can't leave that. You just got to fill it out. That's that's like too bare. You know what I mean? That is a little bit too bare. Oh, I keep just making trap doors. It's fine. I'll use them eventually. Even something like that with like... Honestly... Just a little thing right here. Actually, you know what works even better? I love making these, like these little um, nooks for like chests and stuff. Hold on a second. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Perfect, that's what I needed, chest. I love making these little chest cubbies. I think they're super cute. Yeah, this is a vibe. So much of a vibe. Chat, we nailed it. We knocked this one out of the park. I love this little cozy spot. This is so cute. Look at the view outside the window too. I like that how I can open the shutter too. Oh, that's sick. That is awesome. Very happy with how this one turned out. Very, very happy. I think this one, we nailed it. We really nailed it. Super, super cozy. Wow. Lucas, welcome on in. I'm so sorry. I'm just about to end, but I really appreciate you being here. If you want to here, I'll show you quickly what we built today. We built a cozy cabin in the mountains. 
and it turned out really cute. So happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really awesome. Appreciate you being here. And then this is the interior that we were working on. So, so cute. All right, chat. I think that's going to be it for today's stream. That was super, super fun. Thank you all so much again for hanging out. Thank you so much for all of the channel memberships, for all of the donations, and just for just for hanging out with me today. This was super fun. I know our plans changed a little bit, but we uh, figured out something really, really fun to do, and we got a build, a holiday build done in our world, which is really awesome. I always like to incorporate these into our long-term stream world. So I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna be probably releasing a video on my second channel um probably tomorrow i think and i might also be releasing a video on my main channel sometime soon so keep an eye out for that uh let me just link to oh as he's got it as he's got it thank you so much as i appreciate it so chat with all of that thank you so much for today i had so so much fun everybody have a safe and wonderful weekend and i will keep you all updated uh in the channel tab as well as our discord when we're going to be going live next for the holiday event with froggy so keep an eye out for that and everybody take care have a great weekend stay safe and i'll see you all later bye everybody bye